two. Well, 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 welcome everybody. It's June 22, Wednesday. You know what that means. We're off the rails. It's me. Man, it is Wednesday, hey, man. Are- yes. <laughs> Whoa. That was intense. Wow. More intense than gunfire, I would say. Did you play that, Zach? Yeah, that's it. I yeah. knew that was you shredding, bro. <laughs> that was insane. That was all me. Man, that Tom Hanks entry is a, is a solid one. I enjoyed listening, hearing that one. You you asked for something a little different, so I. Uh, no, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, you brought you brought the, you brought the heat. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> was that like ear R word for the people listening? Uh, I knew that was. That, uh, I, I don't think so. It, it's loud for me. I just want to make sure people he, aren't he, like, oh, shit. He previewed it for me yesterday, and it was ear R word, and I was like, you need to pull this okay, way good, back. Good, so. good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to blow people's eardrums. <laughs> yeah, that no, was that, my that, concern that, that, as well. Good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, so, guys, well, there's a lot to... Anyway, thank you, Zach. That was beautiful. Uh, there's a lot to address here. Obviously, it is officially summer. We are chilling. With the new background. Cedar Rapids. Chilling at Cedar Rapids. And the bunny is having a pina colada. I don't know if that's bunny friendly great. food, but it is what it is. It tastes great. Oh, you like it, Cam. I right, I forgot it. the bunny's camera. Yes, yes. Yeah. that's right. <clears throat> also, you guys, you guys should check out the title of today's episode, man. It's like last year all over again. But it's true. There is good, there's good. We haven't done a drama title in a while, and there really is good drama stuff today. We're juiced. David Dobrik, Jeff Wittick actually followed through and is suing Daddy Dobrik. Wow. And James Charles put out some insane new... He he started this whole campaign to find a best friend in the DMs. It's outrageous, guys. We're back. Oh. (laughs) Oh, no. So, uh, back. Who's a. Uh, oh, ta- thank you to Taylor Brands for sponsoring right. today's episode. Thank you, Dan. And, um, but we have a lot of really good stuff today to talk about. One thing, it is Pride Month, um, and we were thinking. Oh, what happened? The link doesn't work that you guys put in there. Uh, one thing we were thinking is like, what's. Tweet's the- been deleted. Did oh, we, we, we reposted it oh. with the well, that's why. different caption. I got it. We were thinking, what's the best way to do a pride thing? And I didn't want to do something that felt disingenuous and just, you know, like, happy pride or whatever, you know. I don't know. Change the Teddy Fresh thing to a rainbow flag, you know. I mean, come on. So we we sought out a special story, and I think we found. Wait, why does it say? Oh, yeah. We saw a very special story. I love this. You guys heard of the homophobic dog? Yep. So here, let me pull up some memes that you, you guys may not know about. Homophobic dog. I put hobophobic. That's what Keemstar says. <laughs> yes, that's right. Homophobic <laughs> dog. This shit's funny, man. It's a dog who hates gay people. What the hecking dog? <laughs> um, there's this one. Let's hope it's just a phase. The really famous one, the origin one, is here. Um, the one that started it all is this one. Not too fond of gay people, which I guess is supposed to be like your aunt at dinner or something with a glass of red wine. Right. But the funny story about this meme that you guys may not know is the owner of the dogs is a gay couple. How epic is that? That's... And we yep. teamed up with, with Homophobic Dog and his lovely uh, parents, 
It's so cute. Oh my god, you look so good in that. <laughs> it's so adorable. It's so I love the the face. Really conveys a lot. And also, he's white, so it's just like he's had it <laughs> with anything that's not right. That's not to my taste. Damn it. Oh my god. But here's the. This is uh, the dads of this beautiful homophobic dog. And we wrote a little something about it, <laughs> um, which is really small. Let me try to open this up. Yeah, so uh, this dog is a homophobic dog. And anyway, well, basically what I said. Here you go. We love that so many people have come to know and love Whitney. That's their dog. As much as we do, after memes of her went viral. While we find most of them hilarious, we also recognize many of them are phrases that most of us in the LBGT plus community have endured. While Whitney has been branded the homophobic dog, homophobic, <laughs> she's actually the furthest thing from homophobic, as most of her favorite humans are queer. We thought it would be important to celebrate Pride Month with Whitney, Logan, and Ben. So we sent them some matching TF sets and got these amazing, amazing photos back. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. I love this photo. Very so, cute. So there you go. That was a nice little story, right? Yeah. I love wiener dogs. <clears throat> I, my family had wiener dogs growing up. Big fan of the dachshunds. Is that right? Mm -hmm. They have good personalities. I've never oh, spent God, time the around. Oh, they're so cute. I've never done anything weird with my dogs. Okay, well. No one, no one asked. I didn't even, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm suspicious that you brought that out of nowhere, Jordan. Uh, we posted on Instagram. I think there's even more photos here because Twitter has a limit. Oh, I guess not. But there you have it, guys. That was a fun little thing. How nice is that? So happy Pride Month to all of our... LGTB, LGBTQ plus, you got peeps, it. and to all and everyone else too, because you know what, we gotta we gotta fight together for people's rights and equalities, and if if cis people don't stand up and speak out, then they need they need everyone's support. Basically, is what I'm saying. So, cheers to them. <clears throat> We love them, folks. We love the gays. The gays are fantastic, folks. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, I love it. Last week we talked about the. You remember that creeper shot of Keemstar at the theme park with his daughter? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, and there there was another photo I was trying to find. But it was removed. Well, the guy posted it. So now we have this. And it's actually quite good. It's already spring. A lot of memes. Here it is. He said, I deleted the pic of Keemstar running off the roller coaster because I didn't want anyone to think he was running away from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funny as hell. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> There's no story other than he got off the ride and started running past his kids and girlfriend. Okay, bitch. This is a powerful image, man. He's running to God, really. Look at that. Big ass cross there. <laughs> Keemstar does need God. That's kind of awesome, isn't it? So people started making uh, <laughs> running Keemstar memes. <laughs> it's got an interesting kind of body in it. Why I mean, are you so cute when you I talk shit? I, I, I shouldn't talk. I know my body's fucking. I have the I have the body of like a lunch lady. <laughs> you see me walk from the back, dude. <laughs> My thighs and hips are so wide, it's insane. <laughs> I got the body of a lunch lady. It's true, man. <laughs> you should donate your body to science when you pass. I am That's an good. organ donor. Oh, well, there you go. Good. Good. I've heard horror stories of people that donate their body to science, and then they just end up like doing like insane shit with the body that's not scientific at all. Have you heard those stories? Yeah, they donated it to like the army for them to shoot at it or something. Oh yeah, they just yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I do the army that. The army takes the body and they just shoot your fucking dead body. Because like, that viral what? story is about some grandma's body being blown up or something. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like you think you're going to help 
like you know humanity and you just your body just gets absolutely desecrated by the military seeing what happens when you <laughs> throw a body on a grenade well, or I something mean, that's still theoretically a science experiment i don't think what, that's what people are signing up for i mean what happens <laughs> Oh. I, don't I don't think that's what people had in mind. Yeah, okay. probably not. Yeah, here it is. Man horrified the army blew up mom's body after it was donated for research. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Gruesome new details have emerged about the Arizona body donation facility that told people their loved ones would aid medical science. So there you go. That was a lie. Anyone here from Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> they are. She was. So that's... <laughs> That's pretty interesting. But anyway, here's memes of him running and taking off on our subreddit. God bless him. When Ethan mentions Keemstar on the pod, this is so true. He's <laughs> running into that YouTube headquarters. <laughs> and I just think it's so funny that he somehow has created this, this theory about me that I'm like in with YouTube. Like, bro, you complain to them every fucking time something happens. I mean, you're running in their headquarters. There was more, one there? Well, that was the best one. Yeah, I saw one about drinking and the something about IP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so much Keemstar stuff at the top of the show, but it's pretty good. I just sent it. POV Keem asks if you want a drink, but he notices they accepted your ID. Right, because they that that would mean they're too old for him. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah he's outie. Terrorist. Yeah. He's leaving the bar quickly. That's what that shows. To find someone younger. Right? It's like a Romeo Juliet. But um speaking of Keemstar. Let's do this at the end of the show. Who gives a fuck about Keemstar? Sure. Nobody cares. I do want to talk about that, but at the end, you okay. know what I mean? It's just him crying about Ninja got his G Fuel thing, and I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but we don't need to talk about that now. Um, you, so I was on Howie uh, Mandel's show. I guess I'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. Howie Mandel, deal, no deal guy. America's Got Talent. Bobby's World. Bobby's World. That's Love what that I cartoon. always associated with. Apparently... Apparently, Howie is famous for putting a glove over his head. Did you know that? I did not. We learned that yesterday. We looked it up after we were watching the podcast. That, this, is, this is what made him famous. Is he? What? He, I guess, is the first person to do this. And he would do this on stage, and it killed. Okay. Howie Mandel fits like a glove. Vinyl record. What do you think? Um, Not exactly cutting edge stuff well, today, but then it blew everyone's mind. Yeah. Nobody, nobody would have dared to put a glove <clears throat> on his head. Yeah. So that's <laughs> actually uh, an important kind of change in human trajectory, I feel like. <laughs> it's very odd. <clears throat> anyway, it was kind of funny because I ran into him. I was with Ela and the kids, and we were just having a nice day on the weekend down at Malibu. And um, we were at the playground. I was like, oh, that's Howie Mandel. He was sitting across from us. I didn't say anything, though. It was just kind of funny seeing him there. By the way, I see a ton of celebrities down in that Malibu ball. I saw Jerry Seinfeld there. That, was, that blew my fucking mind. Huh. Stop laughing. It's not funny. I'm not laughing. I'm saying nice things, Jerry. <laughs> I think that's the only celebrity I've seen, by the way, where I went up and said, like, uh, hey, I'm a big fan. Oh, you did that? Yeah. Simp. <laughs> Simp. But, you know, what's the point? He gets that all the time. Everybody loves Jerry Seinfeld. Was but he, I had to say something. Was he cold to you or was he a dick? No, he was super nice. He was super nice. He was nice to everyone. He was just chilling. They, they drive their cars. He's in, like, a car club. He's, like, one of these car guys. Well, you know from that show. Yeah. Comedians in Cars. But they meet on the weekends in Malibu, and they all bring their, like, psychotic, insane, super expensive collector cars mm. and show them off to each other. So it's like a whole thing. 
But yeah, he was nice. It was just cool, crazy to see him in person. I mean, I love hit the show Seinfeld. It was kind of a formative show for me, um, <clears throat> and Elo too. <clears throat> but anyway, I saw Howie there, <clears throat> and we started walking back to the car. We were time to go. <clears throat> And him and his daughter, like, st I'm gonna say, he stalked us, bro. <laughs> he followed us to our car. He goes, Ethan. I go, oh shit, what's up, Howie? And anyway, we talked a little bit. Him and his daughter have a podcast. And they invited uh, me to go on. Now, I, I usually don't do other people's shows just because. One, I'm busy. I'm super busy, right? I mean, we do, we're do. we working here all week. And when I'm not working here all week doing four shows, I'm with the family. I generally don't, don't do other people's podcasts, but everyone convinced me that I should do it because Howie's a, le a legend, right? Mm -hmm. um, he is, by the way. Let's pull up his podcast. How, Howie... Mandel does stuff is the name of his podcast. Uh, he's just sitting, uh, but he does he do stuff? Also, I got I just gotta I gotta laugh a little bit, Howie. His icon is him backwards with glasses. Now, now, if you're famous, you should show your face, right? It's just right. I mean, that could be anyone. Somehow. Same with his thumbnails too. He yeah. only shows that face in the thumbnails, and it's. Triggering it's just a much. little odd. I'm gonna, but I love that for him. I mean, you know, God bless. It <laughs> for some reason, like I still think I would have known. That like I was it looks say like the same him. thing. Like yeah, he, I mean, he's, he's got a recognizable dome. <laughs> he yeah. really does. But I'm just saying, uh, this reminds me more of like you don't know Jack or something. Mm -hmm. okay. it's like a bald man silhouette. Yeah. But just turn around. Let's see that beautiful face that you spent <laughs> your life making famous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's see that decades of work. Smile. Let's I, see his smile. Dang. I feel like he's the epitome of the bald man, though. No offense, Dan, but he's just when you think bald. Dare you? Howie Mandel. Well, you know what's interesting? He actually isn't bald. He shaves his dome because he has he's like a germaphobe and he feels cleaner when he's totally hairless. I see. He does bald well. So he owns that shit. Mm-hmm. But uh um, Yeah, that's what I do too. Mm -hmm. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we love that for you, Dan. <laughs> And listen, I'm not going to be, oh my God, how much do I say? What do you mean? Without I, looking like an asshole. I can say, <laughs> I can say some stuff. Okay, go ahead, AB, you lead. I, I noticed there's say, a I'm lot of views on the episode I, I with you. Say. Thank you, AB, for noticing that. Compare it to the other guests. I wonder what that is. Thanks, AB, for not saying that. But well, one thing I noticed is like his last episode had like 4,000 views after a week. Yeah. And I was like, listen, I love Howie and stuff, but I just, I don't know. I got to go there. So I've spent a whole day doing this podcast for 4,000 people to watch it. I just, I don't know. Yeah. So there was like a whole thing, but everyone was like, do it. It's Howie. So I said, okay, I'll fucking do it. I'll do the thing. So I drove over to his place. Also, if I may know. Go ahead, AB. Third most viewed. Uh, video. Is that right? After yeah. one day? After one day, yeah. Well, that's nice. It's nice that the Fupa Troopers care. Yeah. I didn't promote it at all, and the reason being that I didn't, and Howie, I love, oh my god, how much do I say? I gotta say, every time I see that thumbnail, this is kind of an aside, that photo in the middle of you. Yeah, it's a drawing, right? No, I keep thinking it's Tim Pool. Oh, interesting. Let's like talk at a about glance. that. Let's not bring that up. Yeah. Sorry to say. Isn't that the internalized oppression? oppression? Yeah, that, yeah. I look so different then. 50 yeah, pounds I think ago. So. I'm sorry. I'm going to get pissed off about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And neither of us want to look like the other one. So let's just leave that out. <laughs> but the reason is, is that the title was uh, something like Ethan Klein of H3 Speaks on Current Relationship with Trisha Paytas and the Return of Frenemies. <clears throat> and he was like, you can't tweet that. Because <clears throat> they had to go for the title, you know, the juice. 
So, um, okay. But anyway, here, I'm talking, I'm promoting it now, aren't I? Mm -hmm. It was a banger app, I got to say. Thank you, bro. You, you really made it very entertaining. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. Yeah, we were cracking up. We, we, we put were it dying. on here we at the studio, it. and we were... We were I'm so priority. glad. I was really nervous about this, to be honest. So anyway, I went out to... The, I went out to where he records. It's got a massive studio, dude. I was expecting... Uh, I don't know what it is. I was just expecting like a little one studio space. He has his own production company, and there's like a huge, massive studio. It's like 30,000 square feet or oh, something. Oh, damn. All kinds of I'm stuff in there. I mean, yeah, he's he's the host of America's Got Talent. Yeah, time. they record a lot of the stuff there. He, oh, really? He produces okay. a lot of the stuff there. Huh. He also has this really cool... He showed me this insane thing he's invested in, their, and they're headquartered out of his office. God, what was it called? I can't remember the name. Is but it? it's like a hologram thing where you stand in like a booth uh -huh. and it like shows your image anywhere in the world and the quality is like insane. So you can have like a full body interactive thing with people. I oh, forget that. And it remotely puts up it a It shows hologram. your whole body right. in this booth, but it looks amazing. So it's probably, the tech has probably evolved since I did this, but I actually did that a couple times, uh, helped engineer doing that. In fact, I did it for Eric Andre uh, years ago. This was in like 2015 or 2016 where we had him in a studio here in LA and we projected him as a hologram to oh, uh, wow. this event in uh, Toronto. Yeah. Oh yeah, so it's one of those, but like I'm saying it looks so good. So it was really cool. Um, that was cool. Yeah, that's sick. But you know, it's funny because I, I was like, all right, here we go. This is going to be the most produced show ever for 4,000 views because, you know, it's like Howie and he, everything got, it's got to look good. He's famous. Sure. So he has this podcast with his daughter. There's like 20 people there working, you know. It was like a huge uh, production. Dude, here, let me pull this video up because it's pretty funny. Yeah, we have some timestamps in the doc. Oh, uh, yeah? Our personal favorites. Let's see. So here, I'll hit those up next. But let me just click the video. You guys can see. But the studio is like insanely produced. They have this massive command station back there with like 20 people. Right. Yeah. You saw it in the in the show a couple of times. They show the control. And the biggest fucking screen I've ever seen. They don't show it. But I'm facing out like that. And before me is literally like a 20 by 20 foot. Damn. This was probably a million dollar. Wow. One of those epic fucking full HD screens, you know. Can we get some of those? Out of my budget, probably. I don't have highway money. Fuck. New but, love bot. Say yeah, what? You're, you're big enough love as it is. <laughs> I said new love bot. New love. New love bot. That would be so funny. <laughs> no, but seriously, if we did a love bot screen, it would be like the size of that whole back curtain, right, which would be that pretty row. funny. Let's be honest. Oh. <laughs> that would be a funny way to spend money. <laughs> That would top the scorpion chair. Maybe it's going to lose it. Let's actually look into how much that would cost. Uh, it, it, I'll look into it, if, but it, it wouldn't be a million, but I, it, yeah, hundreds of thousands probably. Eesh, if it was completely behind me at that point, I'd just give in to the meme at that point. I'd yeah. be okay with that. Okay. <laughs> just love right. face dominating every crew yeah. shot. I think it would suck the light out of every shot, though, and everything yeah. would be Well, everything, dark. we would be backlit heavily because it would be a giant screen behind all of us. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, love. It doesn't make too much logistical sense <laughs> we'll, we'll look into it okay but you know it's funny every time he pulled something up on the tv my face gets like blown the fuck out with light right yeah that's the... it's so bright <laughs> speaking of looking like a lunch lady you can really appreciate how bizarre my body is in this um they show my full body at some point you got to see how fucking putrid i i mean uh, i don't I, i'm not gonna shit on myself because people uh, get uncomfortable yeah, when i do that uh, but let's just say you look fine my body looks crazy dude what i will say oh yeah <sighs> check the discord oh there you go he just sent a oh you got me a, you got yeah. me a still thanks bro it's not that bad it's not bro that bad. <laughs> why wait did someone edit my head to make it look small <laughs> This is from maybe, the subreddit. I got it so, from Reddit, yeah, yeah. so maybe somebody look, scrunk my head or something, dude. That ain't dirt. That, that doesn't make any sense. Beautiful. You also do <laughs> sit in like crazy positions, right? Like I remember when I started working here and I watched you and I I could like see it all. I was like, oh, this is like different because <laughs> I can see what it's his feet different. are doing. 
Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, like they just play around. I feel like that's true. They're they're wiggling right now. <laughs> Here, I sent I sent a better one. Let's see. Thank you, uh, AB. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That is such an insane shot. That is such an insane shot. Beautiful. What is? Am I right, Dan? I mean, uh, tell me. This is. Tell me. I'm. Not, this is an insane shot. For just Isn't for, that for choked? I mean the whole thing. Are you just, are you sure you're not shrunk in that one? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're, you're I literally don't one. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think these have been uh, manipulated a little bit. Why are they doing this? What does this mean? But we you know ask what? Our fans to post the real screenshot on Reddit. Yeah, Next, please. So if somebody yeah. uh, could dig that up and post that to Reddit. <laughs> yeah, but actually, I was watching the new Obi Wan. Super interesting homage to. Uh, Howie in the finale of oh. Obi Wan. Oh, yeah, the surprise cameo, yeah. I don't remember this scene. Oh, wait, this is from this is from Obi Wan. The newest episode just gotcha, dropped. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. She appeared with the glove on her head. Wow. Uh, There's a that hunger big? for this character to come back. <laughs> There's a hunger <laughs> for this character. So, is this from Shrunk or not? You're, you're, fucking you're, with you're, oh, is my one? head shrunk? <laughs> my body's weird enough. I don't need you guys the fucking with my we, proportion. The, the fact we don't know is <laughs> kind of killing me. The proportions in this photo are off. <laughs> I don't necessarily know if it's because someone edited it or if because the camera did it. Welcome yeah. to my world, dude. This is what I go through every day. Are you comfortable sitting like this? Well, it wasn't. It was fine, but okay. Now, well, <laughs> something's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? You have little leprechaun feet. <laughs> Huge. Man. Am I like 30 feet away from Howie? Yeah, I mean, that was kind of what I was wondering, is if it's just a trick of perspective that you're significantly <laughs> further back than it seems. <laughs> you look like a hobbit, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's edited <laughs> yeah. or not. It was a whole weird situation there. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, there's there I was. There I was. Holy shit, it's it's not an edit. <laughs> I found the exact time. Stamp. Wait, he looks even smaller in that one. <laughs> Wait, sh show, show. Hold it's on. definitely the wide lens. If you go yeah, through yeah. 11 seconds into the video. 11 seconds? Okay, let's watch it. <laughs> sure, let's that just tripped me out. Room with everyone, aren't you? Or at least it seems like it. So, yes. Yeah, yeah that we, oh, we shit, were shit, all shit, in the same shit, room. Shit. Go get string cheese. Go get a string cheese. You can get string cheese. <laughs> Are they? I, by the way, I have a pet peeve when people start recording, they don't tell me. I just I hate when people do that. Oh yeah. That, that sorry, Howie. I, I you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speak my mind on. But you guys are great. You guys are lovely, and uh, but you know they do that. I've that that's happened before when I do podcasts, and it's like you got to tell me when we're recording. You got to give me a countdown or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they finally we got an accurate one. Okay, Here this one this one actually looks fish. This one looks really fishy. Right. No, I think that one's actually, that's pulled straight from the episode. There's no way that's real, you guys. No, I think that's, that's it. That feels true to me. Yeah, that's that, true that, to you guys? It's proportional. Again, it's a forced perspective thing to an extent. But. It looks fucked up to me, but okay, if you guys say so. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Do you want string okay. cheese? Do you so like we're talking about string cheese and stuff, which is like, Pretty compelling stuff to open the podcast to, if I'm being honest. Because, you know, on YouTube, you want to capture their attention immediately. I kind of like the little the, <laughs> the behind-the-scenes vibe of the opening. Well, it kind of conflicts with how the podcast is sort of run. Because if you're doing that for, like, an authentic sort of vibe, but then you're not able to say anything the whole time, it kind of sets it off a little bit. You're saying they're trying to be authentic in the beginning, mm -hmm. but he was very Something nervous you, yeah. about it mm -hmm. in the show. Okay. With peace and love. Of course. Go get string cheese. Go get a string cheese. You can get string look, cheese. Look at this. Do you want string okay. cheese? Do you like it? I mean, there's too much with the string cheese. String oh, cheese? Good. You want string cheese? I have plenty of, uh, I consume a lot of string cheese at home with my young Dude, sons. it's not Do an you? edit. It's one of my staple snacks, but I'm good. Oh. We have a lot here. That's I what like they string cheese. On. These people, you know, we wild. get it with the string cheese. But anyway, yeah, that's real. Uh, so there you have it. This is straight from the... Uh, the camel's sphincter, as they say. They did give me an arrowhead water, by the way, which is um, natural spring water. Martin approved. Yep. Yeah. I got the just quick side. I got the shower head filter thing. Did you installed it? Yeah, last night. It's fucking great. Oh, I, I bought it. it. I haven't got it in yet. I have one as well. So, so how long have you had yours, Dan? 
I guess like a week now. So do you feel a difference? Yeah, so I, I don't know if everyone will feel a difference. With mine, I feel like I definitely do because in the building I live in, um, they don't seem to have a uh, soft water filtration thing or whatever those are called. To I don't think most people have that. Right, and so, well, I don't know. It's just, it's always been the water in my building is like particularly uh yeah. harsh gotcha and so um i noticed a pretty immediate difference with it but wow. if you already have soft water i, I don't know if it, you would necessarily notice but, it but i Mar agree with you dan it, it's uh it's kind of night and day for me so because okay. martin said it imp immediately improved his skin and hair quality because there's no chlorine right which, are you feeling that well i only have 50 percent of those yeah. things so your, well, your, i have a lot of body hair so and it feels great well like, zach you've got a ton of hair you noticed yeah, that exactly. well, well i to be fair i've only had it a day but i could tell it wasn't so it didn't feel so grainy if that makes sense yeah right. that's uh, the yeah oh uh, man that's 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 great. Martin, that guy is, he's such a legend. He really mm -hmm. opened our minds. But also fair warning, and I didn't listen to Dan on this. I'm like, ah, how bad can it be? When you install the thing, there's like, because it's a charcoal filter. <laughs> you didn't listen. Huh? I didn't listen to you. So <laughs> when you. you run like two minutes of water through it before you can like use it, this fucking like black charcoal shit just goes spewing all over my It's just shower. like black slut when you first turn it on. Oh, really? Just for a second. Yeah, because just like, have you ever had like the Brita filter and they tell you you have to like soak it for a while before you actually Oh, I didn't start... know that. Oh, didn't well. know that either. Well, I just used that. You're supposed to soak yeah. those. Uh, and these to... nuts. <laughs> Sorry, God. Oliver God. got my head with that Holy shit. shit. <laughs> but yeah, you're supposed to run cold water through it for a few minutes. And yeah, when you initially flip it on, it like bursts out. And they tell you in the instructions, put a bucket under it to like catch that. And open it, put it in a bucket. Down. Yeah, and I was like, that was what I said. And then it just fucking. They were right. <laughs> they were right. Shit got everywhere. Dude. Like, <laughs> it, was, like, it sprung out of the shower. And got like, it was wild. Interesting. Well, this one looks odd to me. And guys, you can't tell me this one's not edited. Let me see. Oh, uh, that's not. No, I think that's legit. I think that's it. That's bullshit. I think oh. Howie is edited in that one. Oh, you they, think ma they made maybe, Howie bigger. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. That's what's going on, yeah. So, But this is the real one. That must have been a comfortable couch, though, right? It was fine. But yeah, the f but look at this perspective. Now, this is kind of an insane shot, right, Dan? Back me up here. This is... Sorry, go ahead, Dan. Uh, well, I would have... I mean, they obviously have it framed for if they have multiple guests on that couch. Probably should. Let's get a second cam in there, bro. This is like so unflattering. Look how what a fucking lunch ass lady looking ass fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, dude. AB, go ahead. You're gonna be more critical. I like that uh, about you. I, well, can I be critical of one thing here? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna like it though, because you know I'm in it. Um, no, I, I'm liking because I love how the, the podcast and the framing. Every time you wear that shirt, I think it's because of your like salt and pepper hair. Um. Also having like a black and white shirt, it just makes you seem like, like naturally desaturated. Like even to the naked oh, eye, it's like you're just you're you're like a black fucks and white up. cartoon all of a sudden. That's interesting. You think it fucks up the white balance? Maybe. I mean, don't you look just kind of like yes, zombieish? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And I've, you've worn that shirt on this Sucking show. Sucking down water like it's the fucking first drink I've had in weeks. <laughs> My legs are going all crazy, pointing in different damn directions. That was your choice. I don't know if people were looking at my legs. <laughs> so anyway, we get down, we get in the show. Uh, um, and they immediately started, here, let me pull this up. What was funny to me, people said I Bill Bird them, which is kind of funny. I think maybe it was a light. It wasn't as bad as a Bill Burr, but it was a light Bill Burring. Yeah, maybe you were I don't very know. Playful with it. It wasn't. Um, but <laughs> very different dynamic too. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, I get why people are saying that, but it, it wasn't really like that. Can you guys not mention Bill Burr, please? I get PTSD every time. <laughs> Take me back to a dark time in my life. Yeah. Actually, Bill Burr was on the show. We should watch that one and see how is it. But immediately out of the gate, they hit, start hitting me with the what? Tell me about why you're so controversial. And it felt like I was being like kind of uh, 
interrupt. Grilled a little bit. Interrogated. Yeah. So, but but here, let me play a bit of it. My kids don't eat string cheese. You have a, a headset if you want. Okay. You'll be able to hear us without it, but maybe if they if they speak up, you won't hear them. So. Alrighty. No. Or you don't have to. No, I'm not. No, I'm not like you know a pro. I'm, listen, I'm not gonna say I'm the best podcaster in the world. I am number twelve actually. But I, I you know, that's a, kind of a I'd say soft you are. start. I th- I'd say you are. Thanks, Zach. Again, I think they're going for the are. live vibe yeah. feel, even though it isn't it's live. live. <laughs> but yeah, but um, yeah, it, it goes on a little. Bit. I'm, I'm being I'm be, I'm being overly critical. It's Let's a little, just play it's it. A little I usually cool. don't wear it. You don't have to. Well, you're in like the room with everyone. So I didn't you? even know or we were live at this like moment. It, so, yes, yeah. yeah, that we we were all in the same room. I, I find it odd. Oh, okay. You find it odd to where I'm just not used to hearing. I did not know we were live. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. How far into the video are you? 48 seconds? Yeah. And we've talked about string cheese. And you hear yourself. Yeah. If you should wear headphones or not. If you should wear headphones. With peace and love. I grew up watching Howie, you know. If I, we love Howie. We love Howie. If I give some friendly advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start off with, you know, something strong. Have the cameras already adjusted. You want to start off strong, Zach? Hit me with that off the rails intro. That's fu- unlistenable <laughs> fuckery. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Our strategy, Howie, that I think you could learn from is lose as many people as possible as quick as possible that are on, in on this very obscure inside joke. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, just a, no, let's not go there. Just a taste. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. You don't like to hear yourself? No. Ethan Klein is here. Uh, this is- <laughs> so then he said that. And I was like, oh, my God, we're, we're, we're doing one of those, huh? Okay. You know. Howie Mandel does stuff. I'm Howie Mandel. I'm Jacqueline Schultz. Ethan Klein is probably... <laughs> Did you say that? My face is kind of... like locked you. You wait. were like, wait. Oh, okay. For sure. Okay, I guess we're starting. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was exactly that face. I, I find it odd. Oh, okay. <laughs> you find it odd to where... I'm just not used to hearing myself. You know what I mean? It no. Me off. You hear yourself. Yeah. You don't like to hear yourself? No. Ethan Klein is here. Uh, this is Howie Mandel does stuff. I'm okay. Howie okay. Mandel. I'm Jacqueline <laughs> where, where am I? What's going on? Where's my camera? That's basically I was trying to orient myself. I didn't know we were live, so I was trying to find my camera and stuff. Ethan Klein is probably one of the, um, I think you've got some of the biggest, uh, uh, as far as podcasts go, are you ranked? And 12, YouTube. 12. Oh. And the you, USA. You, you, you. For podcast you know? or YouTube? Yeah, yeah yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, they started doing the Edison. Um, let me skip forward to where he starts asking me about my controversies, which happens pretty quickly into the show. Uh, yeah. So I started saying, like, you know, B As word, B before, word, the I NRA, are, like I, I, a, I go a to billion YouTube times because it was making him super uncomfortable. <laughs> and it's his band. Yeah, here. Oh, yeah. I got, I got recently suspended. Yeah. I said jokingly that you know somebody should bomb the nra and now, you now how are you tell me what's wrong with saying that <laughs> uh, because you're uh honestly what's wrong with saying yeah, that there's nothing what's wrong with that are you kidding me no i'd like to I, now to see <laughs> i'm scared to say what's wrong with that because you have followers no, I, was you have just, people... it was, I was joking i was talking about the recent mass shootings in no i get in, it in i get what and, you're saying yeah, but and, and and you know it, it i kind of blurted it out we rolled it back and there was like a whole conservative kickback where like Alex Jones and Don Jr. And everyone was, you know, parading me around as a domestic terrorist or something. So YouTube had to do something and we got suspended for a week. Am I going to be so- in trouble that you just said it on my podcast? What, the NRA? Well, again? <laughs> no, Stop saying that. <laughs> Here's the difference too, though, but yours is why. I didn't say uh, the White House. I said <laughs> that one he didn't find funny at all. <laughs> I love saying that B word the White House because it's so outrageous, right? Actually, love. Can you pull up that clip? Uh, that was really funny. The, the one that you pulled up. I mean, I, I get why he's uncomfortable. He goes, you know, I yeah, of course. World, he's, he's, he's a deal or no deal yeah, guy. Yeah, he's exactly. not used to 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 bomb threats. <laughs> Hilarious bomb threats. B threats. They bleeped. Yeah, B threats. <laughs> they bleeped the word Trump. They said Donald bleep because I'm guessing because he's kicked off of YouTube, they assumed they would get in trouble for saying his name. That's so odd. Or they might just think they get demonetized automatically. Yeah, just saying, saying Trump. I don't know. That's he's so, like Voldemort. Uh, so costly. Voldemort. 
Wait, is this? Oh yeah, and he's a network That's TV a guy. He comes, you know, his whole like mindset is very safe content. So uh, love. May, may I interject? Oh, sure. I do not think we should play this. I'm just want to let it. Be. Oh, I said, I said, you don't think so? No, it's uncensored. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Fine. I have all those like bad clips from my H out of context days that I can't use anymore because I'm scared. <laughs> anyway, I it's just said I just said B word the White House. Simple as that. I'm How not, we brought I'm it up, not though. serious, but yeah. Anyway, they keep grilling me on this issue. To, you know, that would be worse. <laughs> oh my God! No, and you're you in trouble, and Dad. You, I am, so, you know that I'm starting to sweat. I've had you've been here for like a well, minute. You, this is you invited me on. So. <laughs> no, I know, yeah. but but you no, don't, but don't see that. Everybody in the chat is saying they don't bleeped bleep. Hassan's name. Yeah, I noticed I that as well. Oh, I didn't catch that. Why? I mean, the Trump one I can understand. There was a hard cut after you were you were introducing who your co-host was. <laughs> there was that a we very were, we interesting hard like, cut. Wow. Yeah. I wonder what happened. Well, there was one hard cut at the end when he was talking to Ela too, which we'll get to. Maybe because his last name is Pecker. 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 Sean Pecker. Pecker. <laughs> so wait. Um, I don't know why they bleeped his name. That was odd. Oh, people are saying maybe because because <laughs> of the nine eleven controversy. So what happened was, and <sighs> eh, whatever, the president. That that would be obviously no 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 don't, don't, don't f- any. Well, how yeah. about don't f- anybody? Oh how, nobody. Don't you think that? Don't you think that it's? I'm are not you not say concerned? Nobody. <laughs> would you not say nobody? Are you not? Uh, all, all kidding aside. <laughs> You are you not concerned that somebody who is a huge fan of yours yeah. that has the exact same political leaning is? By the way, this is five minutes in. He's being like, "Aren't don't you think that you might just be inciting terrorist acts?" And you know, so I was like, "Okay, this is this isn't what I expected, but let's go, I guess." Right. I mean, after the show, you were uh, you were worried that it was like a disaster, basically. When I walked out. I started texting everyone. I was like, that was so off the fucking rails. Like, <laughs> they were, we immediately started talking about the B word thing. And then they, they mentioned something later about how, well, why don't, why aren't you banned, but other people get banned? Like, Leafy is here. I was like, holy yeah. fuck, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. The way, and, and I understand why you felt that way. After watching it, though, I don't know. I, I, I have a little bit of um, more. I think he's just trying to make it interesting. Yeah, yeah. I think you know what I mean. Like uh, we, we, I don't think they're. Mal- it wasn't malicious. Exactly. Like it, it you know, I, it, it was a recent controversy. It was big news. They wanted to talk about it. I, I think no, but fair. there was certain take. My problem was this: he hadn't watched the clip, and they and sure, let's that, be that, and, and so yeah, he goes, "Oh, well, you said this thing. Don't you think someone's gonna go do it?" And I'm like, "Well, no. You have to watch the if clip. If you watch it, you'd yeah. realize, yeah, probably not. But anyway." Because it is serious. I, I don't accept that accusation of like, don't you think someone's going to go B-word the NRA now? It's like, no, of course yeah, not. Right. And I felt like you good, did a good job to defending it. So, you know, it's just. So. Yeah. But then the other thing that kind of what I was like, wow, OK, let's do this was. Uh, well, here, let's watch this part first. You mm-hmm. might listen to it no. and take. If you saw the clip, you'd understand. It was like so. It was like very light and the whole thing. But don't you think that Trump does that sometimes? Yeah, but also? he's, he's it's, if, if I could show you the clip, you want to watch the clip? It's yeah. banned. Can we watch the clip? Where's the clip? Uh, no, it's on YouTube. You can oh, see then it. at one point, someone in the back pulled up like Kim Star's tweet. That's what I was going to say. And Howie's defense, when I watched it, it seemed like it wasn't his fault, but he was being fed in. Yeah, no, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah but they're not malicious someone at all. He's like bringing a, up Leafy. Leafy. That yeah. was pretty wild. Well, right. He, but Howie Mandel doesn't know who the fuck Leafy No, he got that <laughs> intel from <laughs> yeah, someone exactly. in the back. But the whole narrative so. seemed like it was yeah. spun by one of those Leafy. Fallen stuff. fan things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah That's what the, I suspected there was a fallen fan somewhere in the back. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it was, you know, Maybe. it was a fallen fan kind of situation. But no, how Howie and his daughter are lovely. They're not malicious at all. It was an interesting experience. I mean, it's it's a good watch. So yeah, we really enjoyed. Got a good episode. I mean, we put it on in the in the studio here the other day, uh, and all of us kind of were listening to it as we worked, and uh, we were cracking up. It was funny. That's good. I'm relieved. I was I was worried about this. I really was. I was like, oh god. I hope that this all. 
doesn't cause problems. Oh, then the other thing is I talked, but I broke the embargo. Right. Did our internet just go down? Oh. Oh, okay. My in we're back. I oh, we we're back. A Are we here? With our internet you here. Said the, you said the, the T word in the internet. Oh, word. yeah. Do it live! 99.9% .9 upside my ass! <laughs> Don't they guarantee that? Well, we have a, like, a dedicated for about five line. seconds, so that probably is 99. .9. Okay, there you go. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Sorry about that. I see people saying we're back. So yeah, I yeah. see that. Uh, we just had a little, a little blip on our internet there. But yeah, I thought you were very respectful. I, you I tried. Anything. Yeah. Yeah, I you were respectful. I, I you didn't say that. anything bad at all. You know, it's funny. Howie, people were pointing this out, and it's so true. Because Howie made a comment at one point. He's like, Trisha's having a baby. Or I forget how he, he said, said it, but it was something she's like... She's going to be a mother. Oh, she's she's going to be a mother? Yeah. And I was like, how is worried about me saying bomb or B word? Yeah. And But I was like, bro, you're, play, you're playing with dark he, forces here. He just here. set off the B word. <laughs> the the B-O word. Yeah. That came off wrong. But that, that's the thing. How is... Jesus fucking... <laughs> what, what, A.B., you want to clarify? I don't want people to think I was saying that, that he set off the bitch because I said he set off what the, the B word. Fuck did, what the oh my fuck? god, AB, what the AB? fuck did you just do? What are you? Uh, here why we go. are you? Here what? we go again. Why are you a acting like that? Dude. That motherfucker, AB. Do you understand what you just did? Come from me. You literally just started the, the nuclear chain reaction that was going to set this bomb off. You just pushed it over the edge. I, 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 I do not associate with that terrible B word. Fuck you, I'm strong. Wait, what happened there, though? Yeah, just to I was defend saying you. that he's the one that actually set off the B-O word. Yeah, yeah, But I yeah. said he set off the B. Which okay, okay. Like you misspoke, you misspoke. Do no, I was clarifying. I didn't really miss... You were clarifying. I was clarifying. You used the wrong word. That's misspeaking. Yeah, no? yeah, 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 fuck. I, I, I'm trying to help you! <laughs> you misspoke! It. I misspoke. Jesus. And I, oh. And I oop. And I oop. <laughs> yeah, so AB just pushed this over the, the limit. And now, <laughs> and people are saying, we'll miss you, AB. Love, I swear to God, if you make a highlight of this shit. Oh, yeah. Well, don't worry. He's not. Up. All the drama channels already have clips yeah. online. <laughs> Yo, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> so, but what I was joking is that how we... And his daughter are playing everyone. Let's get Rip AB in the chat, please, guys. Let's get burritos. It's already, it's oh, it's, already, already, it's there. already there. It's already gone. It's yeah, already gone. Can we get some burritos in the chat, please, guys, for AB? Thank you. Um, <laughs> what I was saying is that they're dealing in dark forces they don't understand. Mm -hmm. They are asking about Trisha and Moses, and he's trying to get me to call Trisha. He's calling Ela and get trying to get her permission to call Trisha. And Moses and I'm like, Howie is dealing in dark arts right now, dude. Don't worry about B wording the NRA. This is the real bomb. This is about to go off in your life. Like if Trisha perceives you as slighting her, uh, sh this could be the bomb that sets everything off. Because if I put myself in Trisha's shoes, this could be the perfect opportunity to make like a comeback drama video, like Howie Mandel. How dare you say? I'm not gonna be a mother. Oh boy. We gotta get the bomb defused. Moses is at home like this. He's got like the full bomb bodysuit, you know? That they wear <laughs> in war zones. Cut the red wire. No, 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 no. The blue first. The whole fucking blast shield. Anyway. He kind of did you dirty with the clickbait a little bit. Yeah, and then the clickbait was. Oh. You know, like you had no say in what they titled it. Dan, you, you, what were you gonna well, say? Dan? <laughs> what? You weren't. We gonna... have no right. <laughs> That's kind to of critique anyone on clickbait. Yeah. Some drama. Yeah, yeah it's true. I, he, I, I mean, he he included the name, which I feel like is very. That's his right. It's he more involved. It's more explicit. I don't know. It I is actually. Right. I mean, stand it, up for Howie I mean, a little yeah, bit here. You're right. I don't. Th I yeah. Uh oh, shit, shit, shit. You he get knew out the get the view. Field, guys. <laughs> he knew we would get the views. I mean, yeah, I'm. And he, he was right. Job. So, yeah. you know, what can you really say? He did do his job. <laughs> yeah, so, but anyway. Um, it's just, I can't. I, I was like, dude, if Howie gets pulled into like Trisha drama, that would be the best, funniest tournament <laughs> ever. 
<laughs> like, how fucking hilarious would that be? Very odd. Very odd, yes. She has a direct road in to make a video about Howie crying on her kitchen floor. That is, like, almost too good for her to pass up. She's, a, she's you know, theoretically uh, kind of stepped away from that sort of content, though, right? I mean, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, it... this, this was, in my opinion, a true test for her to see if she, if she takes the... The juicy well, in the past, I mean, knowing Trisha uh, in the past, if she was going to make a video, it'd be made by now. It would have been made 20 minutes right. after that video. Very came out. true. So the fact that there isn't one by now, I feel like is a good sign that she's, you know, you might be right a little bit. You might be right. This was a true test. And so far, maybe she is reformed, you know, right? Maybe maybe she is past all the drama. She's graduated from the kitchen floor. Onto the baby nursery. <laughs> the nursery. The nursery floor. Gonna, the nursery. Yeah. The nursery floor. There you go. <laughs> uh, we are at 50 minutes already. We should do our 50? 50? 5-0. Oh. No fucking way. Yes, sir. 50 videos. I wouldn't lie to you. What? <laughs> We're at 51 How do we do that? 51? I have nearly 50 videos. On we have one, one sponsor I'm going to thank real fast, guys. It's Taylor Brands, starting a business is never easy, but there's a company called Taylor Brands that makes it a bit easier. What is Taylor Brands? It's an online business builder made for freelancers, entrepreneurs, side hustlers, and new business owners. It's a one-stop shop that offers everything from high-res logo design, business websites, branded merchandise, to LLC formation services and more. It's super easy to use. You just answer a few short questions and their automated platform gives you a customized business building experience built especially for your needs. It's affordable, secure, and holds everything you need to start a business in one place. Now, this is actually great because I remember the first time I made a business, it's so confusing and overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You're like, how do you do that? How do you make a business? It's like... They don't teach that class in high school, do they? They sure don't, Dan. They don't. And so this, I think, is actually a really useful um, service. All of you listening out there will get a 40% discount on Taylor Brands plans. Just go to taylorbrands.com slash h3. That's taylorbrands.com slash h3 for 40% off of Taylor Brands plans. So go to taylorbrands.com slash h3 today and start your business. Thank you. New sponsor. Shout out Taylor Brands. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Well, love, where you at? Yo, love, where the fuck you at, dude? Nice Damn, door, son. Not. Damn. Who taught you those moves? Okay. Damn. Okay, love. Okay, love. Whoa. Mm. Oh. Uh. Damn. What are you doing, baby? Oh. Oh, what the? No, 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 don't. I saw it happening and I said, no, 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 no. What the fuck? <laughs> what the frick? AB? I'm going to give love five more AB's seconds. AB's pushing to it today, fuck man. It. I'm going to say it. <laughs> I AB's the real fucking hater in this office. No. Ooh. No, no, no. Seriously, you are. Think it's a little different. No, bro. A no, AB's not a hater. He just killed love. And it was fucking hilarious. You can't, I heard Cam laugh and Cam You can't pass out. that title, Dan. I but giggled. AB. Nice try. Please, please, did that me. please tell that? me if I'm wrong. They, weren't you the one who destroyed the original love bot? And now you're trying to yep. destroy me too. Damn. Yep. That's true. You did kick it over. He's trying to get his fans wild up to come at me. I call them the Fika Fox. Loves fans? Yeah, he has fans. He has his own little fandom? Yeah, they're called the Fika Fox. The Fika Fox? Yeah. You put yeah. Fox in your fandom name, love? It's weird. No, what Suck the it fuck? For That's AB. I didn't name him. The Fika Fox? Him. But yeah, they, they be harassing me. I call him the Fika. Fikas. Fika Foxes? Fika Fox My Four? Fikas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, also teddyfresh.com, you know what it is. Support your local Skyrim merchants. I'm playing Skyrim. <laughs> this is not just a color block hoodie with beautiful colors, it's actually reverse fleece, uh, which is a super cool technique where you do the back side of the fleece. So you get this really interesting texture on it. Looks great. And brown and black. That and so much more at teddyfresh.com. 
Actually, you know what one's really cool? This suit is amazing. You can't really tell, again, because it has these really incredible details, and it looks so good. These little teddy bears embossed on it, and it looks so, so good. Yeah. This drop's got some great stuff. There's one piece in particular I really like. Which one's that? Yeah, this one. Oh, that's dub, dude. How much gold does that cost? Look at that. It's Yo, actually, that belt actually, is insane. It's actually only like 100 gold pieces. If you can believe that. Okay, that's not bad. And and honestly, you could just steal those. I could Easy. steal that and you if could, I'm in stealth. In just a second. And then, you know, turn around and se and buy it from the same person you just stole it from. Love that. I really love that uh, when we had pet day at the office, some of the Teddy Fresh employees modeled in the, the new drop. And uh, Chantal, there's a picture of Chantal holding Priscilla. Oh, yeah. Wearing in the pink uh, outfit. Actually, let me pull that up since you bring it up, but... That, that was such a fun photo shoot day. We had all the kids and dogs over. Chantel on the front killing it. Yeah, she looks bomb. Slay. 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 And Priscilla Slay. with that smile, man. Priscilla, Priscilla, the cutest little puppy ever. Oh, my God. All the dogs are so nice. I don't know why. That dog looks scary. <laughs> but, yeah, the dog, it was so fun having all the doggies. That's awesome. Look at this little New Yorkie. Uh, I love Yorkies. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Anyway, teddyfish.com. Thank you. So, where were we? We were talking about... Um, what we, we were talking about Howie, but I think we're pretty much done with that. I'm not done with that. Can we, oh, okay. There's one timestamp I want <laughs> yeah. to look at before we move on. Okay. It's at 5145. It is so funny. Me and Olivia were dying. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, ba 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 Divorce timestamp? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like funny. sweating. I knew, you were, I knew you were vanilla, so. All right, let's see what's what's all the hubbub about. Oh, I wanted to push it. Oh, I'm so fucked. So, okay, you're, you're, you're going to love this. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, and don't worry, we won, we won this lawsuit, too. Google Ryan Kavanaugh. Oh, oh yeah, we God. should do that. Can't it end? He, 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 yeah. Actually, that's a good idea for everyone at home because when I did it, it was number three. Mm. And I thought I had to scroll down and click number three. And I thought, dang, for such an important website, that's a little too far down the search result page, don't you think, love? Sure, yeah, no, nah, you, you have a point here. Yeah, so type Ryan Kavanaugh into Google, and then, because it's, it's easier, you don't want to misspell the URL, it's very long URL. You can also scan your screen right now. Well, not right now, but in three, two, one, okay. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, does that work for the, does yeah. that help, love? Or is that a does Google Does that go to result? the Google page or yeah, the you website? Want to to the, you want to go to the Google page with that oh, one there. No, mm -hmm. oh, that might be a direct link, yeah. Get it off. Yeah, that's, that, oh, that one's not going <laughs> to help that much just because because I also want them to type his name so that they can learn more. There's more resources there. I got you, yeah. No, that's a right. good point. Yeah. Going straight to the website is just kind of a, a mess, but anyway. Drive angry. <laughs> Drive angry. Anyway, here you go. You know, he paid for the house and the check went through. Oh, oh by the way, Ryan Kavanaugh, I've learned, this was a crazy thing. I started shit talking Ryan Kavanaugh, of course, because he's a piece of shit. And how he starts sweating, you know. And apparently he knows Ryan Kavanaugh. Uh, he bought Ryan's old house, or Howie's old house. Right. How interesting is that? Yeah, but that's, that was probably, how long ago was that? Alex, how long ago did we sell that house? He probably had money then. He's broke now. A loser. <laughs> but now he's divorced too. <laughs> or not that there's anything wrong with that, but um, I don't know why I said he's How divorced. many things <laughs> are you throwing out there Go that down. could possibly? <laughs> what I was. <laughs> there's more. There's more. Okay. Okay. What I was trying to say, I was going to the Brad the Bull thing. Yes. And yeah. And I, I was like, oh well, there's. No, I didn't mean to he's say it like that. Too. He's, he's pathetic. He's divorced. <laughs> there's, there's the, you know, the, the, the best of us get divorced. Uh, down. Sorry. Down. The, yeah, that's our website. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> oh my dude, Howie was so uncomfortable with all this. It's actually usually number one. There's nothing wrong. I, I didn't mean to say he got divorced. Uh, that, that, I just want to roll that back. <laughs> but th this That's is our... the one thing so far that you've been talking no. about that you want to roll back? Well, because, because there's nothing that... wrong with, with getting divorced. The thing I was getting at is that um, 
There's this guy, Brad the Bull, <laughs> who's like railing his wife, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh my, oh my God. Oh but anyway, my God. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, right? So I says, so I says, look, but don't they look similar? And they're both producers. They did seem to agree yeah. that they look and similar. And I'm saying they do look similar. So this is a public service we're doing. And it's what usually is, number one for But what does that have to do with anything that what they look the similar? I'm, I'm sure that they're- People are confused. Uh, what do you mean? This is everything. <laughs> It doesn't have to do with anything. It is everything. Mm. They're confusing the no two. Longer, no longer. We really straighten Let's out. Let's scroll down. Go ahead. Keep scrolling down. Who's controlling back there? Yeah. yeah how is so it? Over the slide here. Uh, scroll back and forth. I don't know. I think he's playing it up. Yeah, yeah, he was. I'm just he's kidding. playing the. <laughs> yeah, he was playing the straight man for me. Right, exactly. Um, yeah, here's the moment where we found out that they knew Kev Kev. Like, no, I have lawyers. I'm being sued four times by this guy, Ryan Kavanaugh. Maybe you know him because you've been in show business. No, he's a piece of shit, that fucking guy. Do you why know is who it he? Is? You do too. What, why, oh. why? You guys know Ryan Kavanaugh? Yes, she Dude, does. That guy's a crazy. demon, bro. Oh my God. He's who suing me four times. No, no, you, you keep that in. Alex. How do you know Ryan Kavanaugh? That I mean, at the, at the top demon. level, I'm Hollywood. suing you. Not a you know who Ryan Kavanaugh that big of a town. Yeah, I, I'm not that surprised. I had a I, I had a feeling he would might know yeah. who he was, but the connection was even more yeah direct interesting than I thought. Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, yeah, I well, don't. First of I all, know. he bankrupted. He was the CEO of Relativity Media, yeah. and then I could just go on to educate them. Yeah, yeah. About Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> uh, uh, there was one other thing. Oh, here, let's talk. Let's look at the. Okay. The part about Trisha, where I start talking about that. Um, that's not time stamped uh, for, I guess, uh, explicitly. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. We don't have to. I mean, we already talked about it. Yeah. So anyway, the, basically, it, it was it was an interesting episode. It was a little it was just a little more contentious than I expected. I don't think they they intended for that to happen. I'm, I'm sure they didn't. I think they just wanted to have an inter interesting interview. And, and we did have one. Yeah, I thought it was good. So, shout out to Howie and the team there, and his daughter. Um, and uh, shout the fuck out to the island man. Shout out to whatever employee of Howie's is a leafy stand too, by the mm -hmm. way. Well, at one point I asked, maybe you can find it, where I go, they go, well, what's with your channel? You get, you say all this crazy stuff and you never get banned, but other channels get banned. I said, what other channels get banned? And they, I said, do you have they a specific get... example? And she goes, well, I do. Uh, Leafy is here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. This is interesting. <laughs> is there a Leafy fan back there? <laughs> Literally. 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 Play that again. Literally. Bro. Literally. He literally sounds like 15. That's crazy that people actually watch that. Well, play it again. Fuck. Fuck. I mean, literally. Was, was he literally? Was he 15? Like when he was making videos? Like he's pretty young, isn't he? No, he just looked like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> literally. I feel like we're like reviving him. I feel like every time he's mentioned, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's starting to come back alive slowly. Well, like, uh, like, uh, the dark lord, like well, Sauron, the more you, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mention him, yeah. they even speak, ah, whatever, I don't care. He can do whatever he wants. He's Fine. got nowhere to be. He's banned <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, that's true, but he can do whatever he wants. I don't give a fuck. Literally. I think all of his fans grew up and moved on by now. Literally. Literally. Anyway, so here is a leafy simp in the Howie studio. Interesting, huh? But there was a channel where let me go back a little bit. A channel that was banned. Want total bull? So bad. I've just I don't. No. I don't at all. Okay. Oh, but Alabu. That's what I'm saying. But you also had the but nerve I think to call you people guys, out. You guys are. You could. You could call me out. It's fine. I'm. Uh, I'm not calling you out. Howie, why are you bring on here to call me out? You were so nice yeah, in Malibu. Are, my, are you fucking with me? Yeah. yeah, I'm very sensitive. Don't fuck with me. Oh my God, I'm just. I don't want you to Poor feel Howie. bad. I'm just, no, I don't at all. Okay. Oh, but I think that's like. I'll be honest with mm -hmm. you. That's kind of like the propaganda, I think, of mm -hmm. some really bad people on YouTube. Mm -hmm. The same people that take like the 10 second clip and put it on YouTube. Wait, I, I keep missing the context, sorry. Or getting it, kicked off YouTube. Well, I think that- Let's stop talking about that. Joke is controversial. I, did, I think you're What did I do that, what did I do to warrant? <laughs> ah, They'll sorry. say, okay, this is good. And 
we're going to green light it. And now, you know, you can trust that your video is going to stay up and it's monetized. It's not going to get taken down. Mm -hmm. And they'll give you notes. They'll say, well, we're going to we're going to give this a mature rating and they'll tell you the notes so you can make changes and resubmit it. Uh, so that's really good, except we do our show live. live so sometimes we do whoopsies on the live show. Whoopsies. Yeah. But they give you a like lot more. Like saying the NRA, Howie. But they give, there, <laughs> Stop saying that. there are way more laughs with you than some other creator. No, no, that's bullshit. No, I mean, you're still on and you're pretty yeah. controversial. I think you're what pretty What did I do? That What did I do to warrant, <laughs> what, you tell me. No, I just mean that. What did I, I do to warrant getting kicked off YouTube? Well, I think that let's stop talking about that joke is controversial. I it do. is controversial. Yeah, but I yeah. think that there's a lot more people that have gotten. You don't think it's dangerous? Wait, no, you have to see the whole. So this I was a, you know, it got a little contentious. Mm -hmm. They said, why are you even allowed on YouTube? And also you're dangerous. Yeah, at a certain point, it felt like you were in the principles. Office. I was like, whoa, OK, this is interesting. Context, Howie. I think you're dangerous. I, why? <laughs> <laughs> you're scaring you're him. You're, you're, you're a menace to society. <laughs> no, but there's a lot of other channels that you've called out too that have ended up getting their like channel taken down or blocked. Not a lot. But you are also the that that was another thing that I noticed. Is this an intervention? What's going on here? No, no. I'm I'm so <laughs> interested. Are we, are, I hope no. I'm not offending you. No, I'm not. No, no. no. Like I said, I'll talk about anything. Well, that's what I'm saying. But you also had the but nerve to call people guys, out. You guys are you could you could call me out. It's fine. I'm uh, I'm not calling you out. Howie, why are you bring on here to call me out? You were so nice. He and was out. calling me out though. He said I'm dangerous. Mm -hmm. Come on, Howie, let's do this, Will. I, are you fucking with me? Yeah. yeah, I'm very sensitive. Don't fuck with me. Oh my God, I'm just. I don't want you to feel bad. I'm just. I don't. I don't at all. Okay. Oh, uh, but I think that's like. I'll be honest with mm -hmm. you. That's kind of like the propaganda. I think of mm -hmm. some really bad people on YouTube. Mm -hmm. The same people that take like the 10 second clip and put it on YouTube. They have this like uh, conspiracy theory that I'm best friends with Susan Wojcinski even though I met her once like three years ago, maybe even longer and took a picture. And that's the only time I've met her. And there's this conspiracy theory that like, oh, Ethan gets away with whatever he wants and everyone else gets banned. It's just total bullshit. I, I've gotten two strikes. I've been suspended twice. Uh, you know, I've gotten into trouble. I don't know what else do you want me to, what, what, I don't, I don't know what people want. Are they, they, they're pro, they want more channels to get kicked off. I don't get what's no, the No, I think what we're asking, or, what's the or what we're fascinated no, people by. People always get in trouble. Like, do you have an example of a channel that was banned that, that you want to compare me to? No, I'm more, well, yes, kind uh -oh. of. Okay, go ahead. I was talking to my brother ahead of time and he was saying, oh, the brothers, was, and I don't really know the backstory behind this. So I'm going to tell you ahead of time, I don't have a lot of information, but mm, he was telling me, which there is was, always the issue, right? <laughs> yeah. But there was a channel where some guy was, um, making fun of or saying negative things about a woman in her picture. So you're, something ta that you're you talking about, about Leafy is here. Are you a Leafy fan? Is your no. A Leafy fan? <laughs> no, 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 no. come right out and say but it. He, I don't know if he is. No, he's, he's saying, saying no. no. Yeah, yeah. He's saying no. Yeah, so but this guy, I, okay. first of all, that is just another guy that I have nothing to do with, uh -huh. made like 13 videos about a girl make, calling her ugly and harassing her and all this shit. Mm -hmm. And YouTube said, they they suspended his channel mm -hmm. and he's been in trouble a bunch of times. They thought it was egregious enough. I got nothing to do with that. I don't know why people need to compare what happened to me, him to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not, and I'm not that reckless. Okay, like clearly reckless. you guys don't watch my show, and that's no, fine. No, we, we I, I, I actually do. I don't know why they try to. Oh, I don't know why they insist their fans the first thing she did, and it's fine. You don't like you don't have to watch the I show. I bet you she. Uh... I think. Yeah. She watched Frenemy. Yeah, okay. But like I she goes, she there. one of the first questions she asked, she's like, um, so Frenemies is coming back? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> that was just a troll, an Oliver Tree troll. Nah. But like, you know, it's okay not to be familiar with all okay, this lore. Okay. I've lot. seen you, I what? said. Yeah, say, we do make like I, 10 just, hours I, of content. I accept that I'm week. controversial, but it's not like every episode I'm saying, <laughs> the NRA Howie. No, no. That was a one-time thing. Right, and that's a one-time thing. And by the way, <laughs> I did that immediately. We were all kind of, I was like, if someone needs to the NRA, I, I had all these thoughts stewing in my head and that came out. And then we kind of like, we're like, whoa, walk that back. Nobody, you know, we did a whole kind of bit and it was funny and I get that I was banned, but I'm just saying, I'm not always saying the NRA, Howie. <laughs> and you I don't think like you because, should do that. Because this is live, I'm probably going to... It's not cut, live, is it? Because this is not live. Yeah. Because this is not live, I'm I, probably going to, like, edit... I wouldn't uh, do that. 
You wouldn't edit a lot, is, a lot of you saying that? What, the NRA? Stop saying it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, just because it could be taken out of context, I don't but want- it's, it's already been, Owie, it's fine. Um, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. What else do you want? Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna get over this, but I, I guess there's some good moments here. I'm enjoying watching it back, you know? Um, Cause it was definitely such a unique, uh, uh, interview i don't know it just went so sideways it was kind of fun it was fun and crazy what was the other part you wanted me to watch I just the very end whenever they were trying to cut it off and you're telling them don't end it oh so, yeah how good. yeah i was i was ready to keep talking but how we i guess they they're one hour it's one hour guys so he cut my ass off oh wait why am i moron i'm controlling it on my computer screen where nobody can see it idiot Your husband? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a nice. Yeah. That's a nice tech you guys have there. Yeah. So anyway, it's a phone. So <laughs> well, you so, plug it in. She can hear me. That's that that that. You can't take that. Okay. So she called Ela and she's with Theodore. And can stuff. I Don't talk put words to, in my then, mouth? Then I, then I said, can I talk to your sister? You make me sound like an asshole when you say it like that. Then I said, and, oh, and, and <laughs> then to get some sort of just a conversation going, she can hang up on me. I will say that. She so can, this is how we. He wants us to uh, reconcile one of the most epic um fallout. He, he just he doesn't understand the gravity of this of this fallout right yeah so he's like let's get him everyone on the phone let's make up right now this is gonna you know and obviously it was never gonna happen and he again he doesn't understand the forces that he's playing with there he's in the dark arts man and he just doesn't know what he's doing mm -hmm. um so that's what he's talking about can hang up on me he, he could hang up and say, I don't want to talk. You could say whatever. I just want to call her and do that. And it's very funny because uh, your, your uh, husband has been very verbal and, and uh, not confrontational. But I made I, them very uncomfortable. He did make know. me really Howie uncomfortable. Howie has been stressed. Because I said, I was like, I, uh, don't, I didn't hey, mean I, no, no, yeah. no, no, the NRA. Not, Stop it. I said, don't do that. <laughs> no, but anyway, he's made me really uncomfortable. And I said, don't say that. He says, I'm, the thing is, I could say anything. I can do anything. No, I didn't say that. I'm honest. No, he goes, I'm honest, and I own what I do. I didn't this say I can do or say anything. <laughs> then I said, can I don't talk to words in my mouth. I, then, I, then I said, can I talk to your sister-in-law? You make me law? sound like an asshole when you say it like that. Then I said, can I talk to your sister-in-law? And he said, oh, that I got to ask my wife about. Yeah. You, apparently you're, you're That's you're actually a good observation by Howie. Yes. Well, the because there, we were shot. talking about like all this crazy shit. And then the minute he brings up Trisha, I was like, I can't do that. I can't talk. I can't yeah, do that. That's so, yeah. So that was one topic that's off limits. That was a really funny observation. <laughs> And it's a whole thing. No, I know, but here's the it's thing. A whole but, thing. But, okay, it's I'm, I'm, I give up. I give up. I give up. Thank it's you for being on the podcast, Hila. Theodore, you have well, been wonderful. <laughs> and Ethan, you're a treat. Um, don't take anything to the NRA. Uh, Ryan Kavanaugh, guns. for all I know. Can you take guns to the NRA? No, you're not allowed to. Well, you know, that's, that's funny, that's isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, no, it's not funny. No, you're not. Oh, it's not funny. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> okay, which is not your funny. judge, too. And, and it's a gun know, conference. I mean, bring guns to the and NRA. Well, we know, it's a gun show. Could be. No, 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 no. I no. don't know that. Eli, okay, well, hold on, anyway, hold on, hold on. No, I'm not going to hold no, but, sign off yet. I'm going to sign don't off. Don't sign the fuck off, I'm Howie. I'm going to sign off. Don't do it. I'm doing it. I have one more thing to say. <laughs> say it over the music. Say it. Oh, shit. Ryan Kavanaugh is a piece of shit, <laughs> and everybody fucking knows it. That guy fucking sucks. <laughs> All right. Love that. <laughs> That was just fun. Yeah, but honestly, overall, I was really nervous about it coming out, and the comments were like so, so nice and supportive. I really want to thank the Fupa troopers out there for I don't know. The comments were just so, so nice and so gracious, and uh, it really made me feel like supported and loved. And uh, you know, that's not a feeling that you get all the time, especially online, <laughs> especially sure. me. Yep. And uh, it was it was honestly really nice. So thank you guys for all the nice comments. Really, really nice. It's awesome. Really, really nice. Uh, so shout out to one of the weirdest interviews I've ever done. And I don't do a lot, so the, I don't know. The bar's not that low. Right? Oh wait, here. Let's watch this. This is Howie Mandel does stuff. The trailer. 
3,000 views. That's okay. Howie Mandel, welcome next door to your podcast. Do you know we were on lunch? Bring that your boy. Or something. You want to come? I'm going to roll with Howie for a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Let's go get the giant laptop, bro, and shoot a fucking Ridiculous a podcast. <laughs> this is Howie Mandel does stuff. Oh, my God. I thought By I the way, that. his guest list is insane. He has had, like, some insane guests. That's why I told you to do it. Yeah. But, okay, we did it. Yeah. There you have it, folks. Howie freaking Mandel. This man has clouded up. Clouded the fuck up. Yeah, you wanted me to promote it, so so here it is. You're definitely gonna be the most viewed by tomorrow, too. There. Yeah, probably. Fooper troopers, man, you guys are the best. Thank you, guys. Family. 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 Stop. You know, it really makes me think about. Um, how deep the lore goes on this channel when you kind of go outside and it's like, wow, it's yeah. hard to explain some of the, mm -hmm. some of the story arcs that go on here. The Trisha one is, is, uh, that's Balls deep market. lore, bro. That it is like, you need like a three hour documentary on that one. And they're out there. Trust me. They're on YouTube. There's like an expanded universe for that. Yeah. Not to mention the H3H3 -H3 lore going even further back. True. It's pretty wild. Yeah, thank you guys for for being here. Thank I really truly mean it. It, it was so nice to read that. I, I really was touched. And usually when I'm when I do other people's shows, I'm always like, ugh, everyone's gonna fucking hate me, and um, everyone in the comments is gonna just be like, fuck Ethan. But luckily, Howie doesn't have any fans, and they're all of my fans. So all the comments were really nice. <laughs> 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 so that was a change of pace. Uh, the 4,000 people that, How that do watch Howie's podcast all hated it, but they got drowned out by all the lovely fans who went there. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> we love you, Howie. It's what it is. He stalked me to my car, and he got the show. I actually Good told him, I, I told him, I texted him after, I was like, you should probably bleep the bomb, so because I don't want you to get a strike because of my dumb ass. So I'm glad that they bleeped the, the B word there. Well, okay, let's move on from Howie. We've got a lot of juicy gossip to talk about. And also we have a call from a very distinguished uh, person who's gonna call in real fast. Now this is a guy that I have spoken very highly of. You know, I'm a huge fan. Should I get them uh, set up? Yes, get them set up, and I'll, I'll just set them up here. Okay. Yeah, so you guys have seen this guy. His name is Mikey, and I just i am such a fan of him. He's such a talent. Look at this. Dang! This one just dropped today. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> His lip goes so fast when it starts turning up. <laughs> Dude, he is such a talent. I fucking love his videos. Oh, God. This is his uh, most famous one. This is the one that started it all that I just fell in love with. Four million likes, so this, this guy's internationally recognized. <laughs> Dude, he gets the timing so good. His face is so fucking funny. Uh, I absolutely love Mikey. And so, of course, loving him, I wanted to check in and hear from the man himself. I'm sure he has so much to say. Here's another one. Two, three million likes. So this is a big deal for me. But it doesn't want to play. Wait, we got. So we got him. Oh, yeah. We got Mikey, guys. 
<laughs> and it's like it's like the fuck boy, sexy eyes, you know. So, are we ready for Mikey? Or I, I'm getting him in right now. I have more. One second. Yeah, let's keep watch one more. So we actually we worked really hard to get Mikey. Um, we went through agents and managers and uh, coordinators. And... <laughs> what the fuck? Where does he even get these sounds, bro? Yo, the sound effect he uses is called Hollywood Studio. Hollywood Studio Sound Effects 14. That's awesome. What else is on here? They used it too? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Hollywood Studio is like a big um like sound effect library. Like a there lot you of, go. Like, uh, Pulled it from the from the kings. Like a lot of sound designers use it. It's kind of like an industry standard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am uh, not a setup. So Mikey is here, the legendary, huge fan, mega talent, uh, coming up big time. Mikey, legend, I love you so much. You are such a talent. Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. I mean, we get <laughs> audio. Got the sound. Wait, hold on, Mikey. We're not hearing you. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh shit. So. Whoa, dude. What the fuck? That's how he actually talks? Yo, Mikey, just well, I to, assume it's just a bit. Could... Just to prove that this isn't a that this is live, can you put up two fingers or something? Okay, yeah. So how'd you get started in all this? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, interesting. Um <laughs> I've never heard a story like that. Wow. Fascinating yeah, story that fascinating there, Mikey. Stuff. I uh, thought that was great. It's like well, well, did you, I feel like we, we were asking you about how you do it, and, and you said it doesn't take you very long at all to learn these sound effects, and it's super, super easy for you. You might be some kind, you might be like a human metronome, like some kind of rhythm savant. Is that possible? <laughs> right. Thank you for yeah. that. No, that's, yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. For real. By the way, Mikey's on Cameo, which we love. Tell me you just do the sound effects on Cameo, please. I'm begging. Don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Mikey's on cam. Oh, okay, okay, wait. He's got more to say. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, I want to interrupt you. <laughs> That's... Yeah, okay, well, Mikey's on Cameo, guys. Uh, Mikey, we'll put the link in the description, but it's Mikey yeah. K88. Is that right, Mikey? Mikey K88? Okay, great. <laughs> was, there some, was there some ones from the show we wanted to uh, try out here or not? Nah? Oh, yeah, we did provide him with some uh, earlier. Um, if uh, you want to show those off real quick. Where does this do? <laughs> oh. yeah. <laughs> 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 I was gonna put him in uh, foot, foot. This shit can be on. Wow. <laughs> I love this guy. My, my, you, I, you might be one of my favorite TikTokers, so I'm just super happy to actually meet you. And every time I see you on my homepage, I get super stoked. 
The new one you just dropped is straight fire. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, this is the new one, by the way. This was so good, man. How do you make your mouth go so fast? Yo! That's insane! Straight fire. Mikey88 on TikTok as well with two Ys. Why do you have two Ys? All right. I think we're having some connection issues. Oh, is that right? Well, Mikey, uh, he is nonverbal. Or no, he's not. He's very verbal. He doesn't use English. Oh, okay. Oh. There you are. Oh. Whoa, bro. Damn, he sent that. Beautiful. Holy shit. Uh, well, it was really nice meeting you too, Mikey. It's so nice. And I just want to encourage everyone to go visit Mikey on TikTok. Go to his cameo because he's going to be having... I can imagine your cameos are insane, right? Yeah. I have an idea. Maybe someone could send you a f sound effects or something for you to remaster for them or something like that. Would you do that on Cameo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. All right, stop trying to seduce me, Mikey, with that lip bite. <laughs> All right, well, Mikey, thanks for checking in. It was so nice to meet you. We're going to have to bring Mikey back for like his insight on, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this, Mikey. Um, let's see. Well, you know, Russia and Ukraine obviously have been uh, doing battle and there's really no end in sight. And it's just such a tragedy. What do you think is the best way to end this conflict uh, peacefully and, you know, just, just just wrap it up there with the best way possible? Right. You know, this, maybe those are doves, which is a, a animal of peace. That is interesting. Yeah. The insight was, was, was right. an interesting one. It was beautiful. It's All right, Mikey, thank you for that. Yeah, we'll have to get your insight uh, if anything else comes up. Mikey, uh, Mikey88, guys. And I, I added love. all of his info in the description, his TikTok handle, and a link to his cameo. Show some love. Woo! The greatest. The man! Wow. Wow. All right. What a legend. Take care, Mikey. Thank you so much. Appreciate you there. How about that, huh? Totally unexpected. That was beautiful. So I actually, wise. I really expected him to use words, but but he didn't. Yeah. He just why would you have sound bites. Why would you have that expectation? Well, I don't I guess I don't know. Maybe I was fucked up to expect anything else. Yeah. So funny though. I love his ass. All right, let's move on to the juice, shall we? We shall. Um, oh, God, the James friend application, you guys. This was so bad. I just saw it this morning. Uh, you know how James was trying to pick up boys and the DMs of all the social medias? Oh, I remember. And so he, in his big apology video, he's like, I'm not going to use social media for uh, dating apps anymore. Because obviously, as a horrible way for James, who has shown that he's a predator. My For You page and Explore page are not dating apps. Right. That's what he said. So, like, he, he promised the world. He says, okay, I'm not going to do this anymore. But here's the crazy thing. He literally can't help himself, and that's what we said from the beginning. He's pathological. Mm -hmm. This man is a predator. <laughs> so much so that he actually put out a video begging people to... He, he's looking for a new best friend. Like, yeah, you know. I'm sure he's just looking for new best friends. This is bullshit. <laughs> James Charles doesn't want to hang out with some fucking basic like pleb fan or whatever you know what i mean yeah. like james charles is a 
fucking clout demon from day one, bro. He's not trying to hang out with any normies. I'm just being real. I was a little confused because by the end of this, he mentions finding his soulmate. So, e yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so here, check it. Mm -hmm. Check this out, guys. You're gonna love real, this. Real quick, even the first second of the video, James makes a noise. Oh yeah. And I'm voting somebody of the year right there, man. It okay, is okay. Unreal, man. Okay, interesting. Well, let's let's see. Oh. It, okay, wait, wait. Let, let me get this. Oh, I need more spontaneous. Now, do you have it already? Oh. 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 That is good. Oh. <laughs> I hate Dan it. hates it. Oh. oh. You don't like that, Dan? What's wrong with it? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, let's watch this. Uh, I need more. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jack. Uh -huh. Well done. Your uh, your ears are trained. My ears are so used to it. Yeah, by now. You, you, you're like Neo. You see the world in sound bites. Uh, yes, where dude, he sees yeah, God. Dude, it's yeah. just such Cross a no. Who start the video? Like that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, 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 or maybe that was his intention. I don't know. Uh, but it's gold, so thank you, James, for that beautiful grunt. Uh, 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 oh no, don't lower it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's watch the fucking. Let's watch the video. Uh, uh, I can't get out of it. Uh, uh, uh. All right, he says, I need spontaneous friends. Get a load of this. <laughs> God damn it! Why won't the sound work? <laughs> All right. All right, ready? I need spontaneous friends. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> friends, where do I find these people? All of my friends in my life are very much like... Schedule in advance, let's do next Friday at 4 p.m. type of people, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I need people that are down for literally anything at any time. You want her to go to dinner? I'm ready. You want to go to a movie? Which one do you want to see? You want to do an escape room? Let's do two, okay? You want to go to the beach at night? I'll bring my bathing suit. I'll bring snacks and you can stop and get drinks on the way. You want to go laser tagging? Bitch, I'm ready. Want to go rock climbing? Climbing? Oh, you name it. I'm Bro, he literally wrote submit applications. Like, there's nothing more natural than submitting an application to be someone's friend. Yeah, absolutely. That's what's up, baby. That's, that's how you do it. From everywhere in my room. Now, uh. now, uh, now I'm seeing here you have uh, you had five years of friend experience with uh, Jeremy. Now, can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, and and, and there, I see a gap in friendship here of about two years. <laughs> can you explain that to me? Uh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm there, and I'm ready for a good time. Where are these people? Submit your applications, cause oh, I uh, oh no, there's <laughs> another no. one. I didn't. Even... I need more sponsors. Wait, I thought you played that soundbite. No, no, that was oh, no way. It's more high bids. I'll have to pull that one too, yeah. man. Different variation. Oh, 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 oh. I yeah, never have her way. Okay, oh. all right, okay, all right, all right, all right. Back, back it up, back it up. <laughs> What really got me about this video, guys, is that <laughs> he actually puts a call to action for people to email him applications. Uh-huh. And, and, and I thought maybe he was just speaking like, oh, man, I wish I had friends who were down to do anything anytime. But no, he really asked people to email him. That's fucking crazy. And you know, you know what he's really looking for. Let's be Ideals? honest. He's trying. Uh, he's trying. Uh, 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 no, he's not into older. Yeah, the wrong direction. There, Jordan. You know what he's looking for, and he's just trying to circumvent his all. Oh no, I'm not looking for partners on social media thing. So he goes, no, I'm looking for a best friend. I can spend all my time with. Yes. <laughs> Do everything together with. This is insane for anyone that's his size with his amount of following. But oh, for yeah. him spe uh, specifically, it's interesting. That's so true, Av. Like anyone in his size to put a call out for people to come be their friend mm -hmm. is like michael jackson level weird mm -hmm. and like that's basically what michael jackson did to little boys imagine a world where a known predator is getting tons of emails from young people around the world mm -hmm. who are desperate to be his friend what the fuck bro you are sick dude you are sick you're pathological you can't help it it's crazy, and we we called this. We said he can't help it. 
And um, I didn't expect that it would be this public and this uh, soon after he got in trouble. That's right. something that I can't turn off. Wow, that's a good, gotta, that's right on the nose. We work on that. So let's go to the next one. There's a bunch Point of them. <laughs> I just checked my DMs and I'm getting so many sweet messages from you guys being like, let's hang out. I'm in LA. Let's do this. Let's do this activity. I love the energy and I would love to hang out with you guys. I'm sure you're all so fucking fun. I have a really interesting thought and maybe this is a conversation a podcast in the future because I feel like this is not going to fit on my Instagram stories and it's like very not deep, but whatever. Um, one thing that I like is really interesting and frustrating about being an influencer or a celebrity or whatever you want to call it is it is really, really hard to meet new people and make new friends. Ten year old fan of right trust away. And the life that I live is abnormal, right? It's really hard to meet new people because you don't know what their intentions are. You don't know, you know, Dude, by the what... way, he is doing like such a flex with his house and backyard in the background. He's clearly looking for a fuck toy. A fuckboy toy. Like, it's so obvious, bro. It's disgustingly calculated. This man is a predator, bro. He cannot help himself. Do you understand that? Yeah, really sad. <laughs> that didn't sound genuine, James. Ela, oh, oh. Ela said, submitting my applications right now. Oh, Ela? No, don't do it! Well, he's he, he's not into your... Uh, to whatever... Uh, he's not into you, he, so you can submit it. <laughs> Kill doggo. <laughs> so, um. Oh no, Hila. Let's continue. Reason they're trying to get close to you, and that really sucks. Did he just pick his nose, bro? He literally just picked his nose. As I would love to meet new I'm a very social person. I love the friends that I have, but I'm always down to, you know, hang out with new people and try new things. Where are you going with this? I really wonder all the time if I was not in this position, right? I was not an influencer. Maybe I. Like, I never became an influencer after high school. I just checked my DMs and I'm getting so many... By the way, so I'm going to go to the next one, obviously. But you got to realize how he's like... Sweet messages from me. I got so many messages from you guys, and I would love to hang out with you, but, like, obviously I'm not. I was waiting for the I'll butt. You. Uh, uh, yeah, well, here, let's go to the next one. I got a normal job after that, because I would have graduated last year, and now it's just, like, living a normal life. I always think to myself, in that scenario, what would my friend group look like? What would my inner circle look like and who have around me? Because I have no idea. Almost every single person in my life now, who I love dearly, I'm not complaining, but are people that I have met either on the way up or at the top. So there are other influencers or people that I've been able to build trust with over a very long period of time. It's very hard for me to meet new people and to trust new people because there's a lot of factors, right? But I always think to myself, in like a different universe, if my path had went a different way, would I be in a relationship? Would I have a, you know, amazing group of friends? Would I have a best friend soulmate? That's like, you know, my thing that I hang out with every single day, but I've never met them because our paths went a different way. And if so, how do I find them? Because I want to meet those people. I don't care if they're regular or have zero followers. Like I want amazing people, amazing people in my oh, life. I like I have amazing that? people in my life, but I want more amazing what people. Translation, I always wonder if I wasn't famous, would I have gotten away with it? Could I have hooked up with these young boys and no one know about it? Yeah, I mean, he's, well, yeah, and also, in other words, I'm just a long, a really long way of saying I want, I'm trying to fuck people in the audience yeah. again. And I always I wonder, how could I get away with it? Thank you, Liam. And I came also, up with the, applications. the use of word, the use what? of word regular, sorry for cutting off, but the word regular, hanging out with regular people, I don't know, it's sounded kind of weird. It's a little, yeah, desperate. it's a little... It's a little, uh, he's, and yeah, the way he talks about himself is just so ridiculous. On my way up, and when I was at the top, like, bitch, the top. <laughs> what, oh. you God? I made it to the top. Nobody more famous than me. By the way, people always say I pour my sodi so delicately. I hate when it goes flat. And sometimes, when you pour too fast, all the carbonation goes out, and then I can't drink it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm. I don't think James is interested in like famous people though, because he likes having the power and control over. Yeah, and that that's why he likes the, them young too. I would. And date, he's like, mentioned that the before. absolute youngest and hitting on straight guys as well. He gets a thrill out of that. Yeah. Likes the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> In my life, got a normal job after that People in our lives, right? So that's the thing is like, I would love that, but I just don't know 
how to find them or if I do find them, how to like vet them and make sure that they are actually amazing people. They can be. Yeah, uh, I'm going to need your application. We're going to have to do five rounds of interviews with my lawyers, managers. Uh, we, we need to vet you properly. I think it's time that we. Bro, talk. it's not that serious, dude. What the fuck? my dms right now saying hey james let's go bowling hey james let's go to the movies and i would just be scrolling past not having a clue in the world that like that person was destined to be a soulmate oh isn't that sad to think about i think people... i've never thought about that in my life uh frankly it's never crossed my mind where'd that come from where'd soulmate come from yeah i know i thought you were talking about friends and all of a sudden yeah some soulmate some friends go bowling with watch some movies i mean some rock climbing he said Play some video games, escape his bedroom, or escape the room. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. Escape the room? Yeah. Wait, escape room, escape the room? Mm -hmm. I, I just, I find this whole thing <coughs> just genuinely depressing. I mean, here you have a predator in plain sight on YouTube, on Instagram, literally telling people to email him, his young, underage fans young fans that to email him is this is so not true. insane i mean i think he needs to go to jail i think i think I, I i don't know how else to stop him he's already committed crimes they just didn't press charges that we know of yet but the, 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 he, james needs to go to jail i'm i'm dead serious he's gonna be youtube's bill cosby or harvey weinstein when it comes down to it because he can't help himself i mean genuinely seriously you can't just let it slide please not this one, buddy. Damn, you got the whole chat tree down for James Sack. Oh, yeah. So we could call people with him. Yeah, the James Charles escape room would be pretty... That alone would be scary as fuck. Oh! <sighs> it's so sad. What do we do about James Charles? I mean, he's a menace to society. There you have it. That's the James scoop. I don't know if people are care or angry or what, but it's downright disturbing. Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Let me look up his channel. What's he up to lately? I always like to check in. Little kids paint my body challenge. What the fuck? That ain't right. Hi, sisters. Do Little kids play pin the tail on the donkey on my body. What the fuck? That is not right to be on YouTube. Come on, man. Down bad views. Actually, his views are kind of slumping. Like 12 days ago, 400,000. That's that's quite low, eh? Love that for him. He's gonna be a regular person real soon. I mean, <laughs> I mean, lo, lo, yeah, you you won't have to have this problem anymore, buddy. Just give it another year, and then you won't have to worry about it. Again, four hundred thousand is a lot, right? But I have to remind you guys, you used to get like twenty million views per video. Yeah, definitely. Let's see, Dream Hi, Closet. Sisters, James Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube. Bro, your sweater is half off. Your sweater is not on, dude. Channel in today's video. Is that boomer of me? But, like, what the fuck is this look? Is this boomer, Olivia? Am I being a boomer? Uh, this mother of God has got his arm not. Is one of his arms straight out, not in the sleeve? What did, what did he, what was he putting it on and then got distracted and forgot to put the other half on? It was certainly a choice to not have it on. I have seen people wear it like that, but not as a blatant like choice of presentation. You he, know what I mean? He was too caught up in sending a Snapchat. So yeah, he got he he got a DM from a <laughs> a young boy, and he forgot to put on his sweater all the way. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's take a look at his closet. I'm gonna take you guys on the long-awaited closet tour. This is the escape yeah. room. Do you think that's copyrighted? Oh no, I was saying this is the escape room. <laughs> James escaping James Charles' closet. Let me mute this because I, I don't know. Damn, bro. Where's the candy drawer? I wonder how much money he made from his heyday. 
and all his makeup oh, stuff. Lot. Clearly, he's balling. Wow, he does it all. Uh, so, <laughs> he's a first AC. And my home, which is crazy to think about. It feels like yesterday that I bought this house and moved in. Of course, when we did, I posted my full house tour. So you guys have seen this closet beforehand. Obviously, you guys know I've been working on my fashion game pretty intensely over the past couple of years with my amazing stylist, Lena. I went from wearing the same Balenciaga sock shoes and Adidas track pants every Whoa. single day. Oh, to now having a little bit more of an expanded fashion forward wardrobe. And in today's video, I want to take you guys along with the seven bags. Let's see what people it's watch. Right here is a, it's the biggest moment. What is this? I really don't have that many like nice jewelry pieces. I pretty much wear all of them at all times, and the other ones are elsewhere. Uh, but a lot of this stuff is just like fake. It's just. Wait, did you hear that? I thought I heard a, a, the voice of a child screaming help. Yeah, I thought. Did you hear that? I thought I heard something weird there too. What's this wave of you know accessories? I'm going to show you guys my accessories drawer. I swear I heard a little boy screaming help. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy though. What the fuck was that? It's a, it's like a tick dog sound. Of, you know, accessories. I'm gonna show you guys my accessories drawer. I keep a lot of my costumes. Right, why, why is this part? You okay, whatever. Right fuck you. Uh, Wait, keep playing it. Play, play okay, yeah, part. but listen, listen, listen. Uh, we have some products. Sorry, Lena. We have these Prada ones as well. You hear something? Play it again? Obsessed with these. I just bought these in Vegas a couple of weeks ago. Hello, can you see yourself in there? Can you see yourself? I hear children screaming. Is that what I hear? Yeah, I play it. Keep playing. What that. the hell is going on over there? That's weird. Hi, that's you. And then my favorite pair in the entire. Wait, there it was a little. It was a moment of quiet there. Maybe if I go back, yeah. we can hear it clear. I have to admit to you guys is this pair of Balenciaga runway glasses. <sighs> so these glasses so wait, are metal. Like Apollo the Bird, metal. All right, Apollo. What is this made of? Anyway. Stupid ass. I hate that shit. Hmm. These are metal sunglasses. They look so. What has he got? Like a whole army of kids in there? I don't know. Sounds like a it, whole gang really, of them. It's really low, but. Oh, she. Let me see wait. if I can isolate that. Yeah. Wait. Let me try to find the quiet, a quiet part here. This part has no sound. For videos and Instagram photos, I just wore this at Mulan Top to the Rolling Stone party. Oh Instagram. my God. Yeah, I'm trying to EQ it I just a little bit. This sunflower print. Ooh, hmm. interesting. That's disturbing. Yeah, that's weird. Well, there you have it, guys. <laughs> oh, James Charles is still a creep. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah. Right. oh. <laughs> check, check this out real quick. Uh, on, on Love Boat. I mean, a creep is doesn't even go oh, wait, far wait, enough. Wait, wait. Here. You know. Oh. Yo, those are the same <laughs> specs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact same ones. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I know that Jimmy does ball, so it's possible they both have the, um... Why, Jim Charles clearly copied him, right? You know, the Jersey Outlaw is always setting trends, and yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Jimmy better Jimmy, not post they, that, they, man. They both live outside the law, so... It works right. Yeah. They're both, both outlaws. outlaws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jimmy should apply to be his friend. Yeah. Sign up. Oh. By the way, we have a really funny Jimmy Lee thing coming up on Friday that I'm super excited about. Yeah. It's all wrapped, right? I can talk about it? Um, Shit. I mean, there may be additional. Okay, yeah. never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Strike that mm -hmm. from the record. <laughs> Into W, work in progress. Walk, walk, that, walk that one back. Ethan. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> All right, so then no. let's talk about, obviously, the whole David Dobrik, Jeff Wittick thing was a huge story. And David Dubrick, as we know, wait, what's this? <laughs> holy <laughs> fuck. Holy yo, 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 yo. If you pause it, he gets really close to the camera. If you pause it, you can actually see in the reflection of his glasses, <laughs> there's kids in cages right behind the camera. That is insane, dude. What what an oversight. So embarrassing. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Holy fuck, bro. Whew. Wow. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> Actually, I just want to say that was an amazing one, Cam. I love that was really yeah, clever I, and great. Yeah, that was that was dope. Yeah. That was Thank great. you. 
That was an S tier. S tier meme. Yeah, definitely. So fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that shit, dude. That is so funny. Thank you. Cam just sent that and he said, Did you notice his sunglasses? <laughs> So yeah, Jeff, as you guys know, David Dobrik uh took Dubrick? A, Dubrick? Dubrick? took a excavator out to a lake and without any supervision or first aid or permits or any uh oversight, he slammed Jeff Wittick into the excavator and almost killed him. He got brain damage. And his eyes, one of his eyes is basically almost non-functional. He's had like, I don't know, 12 surgeries or something on his eye. And so, you know, Jeff's this hard-ass guy. He never, he doesn't want to be the snitch or sue anyone or anything. But I kept telling him, dude, you should sue him. This is why civil lawsuits exist. Like, this is the reason. This man fucked your life up and it was completely negligent. Um, and if you died, he'd be in jail right now. I'm sure of it. Mm-hmm. So Jeff actually did it. TMZ got, I guess, I, does that mean that Jeff sent it to TMZ? That must mean that he tipped them off or something, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I was a little confused where they got the info from, but they reached out to David and didn't get a response. But I don't know where they got But the- TMZ reported it, so I'm pretty sh- like, I don't think they fuck up. They're, they're pretty good with this stuff, I mm-hmm. think. David Dobrik, uh, Jeff Wittick sues for excavator stunt gone wrong. Claims he almost died. Um, David Dobrik should not have been behind the controls of a massive, a massive excavator used in a social media stunt gone wrong. So says a YouTuber now suing the influencer, saying he suffered serious injuries as a result. In the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, he must have given it. Yeah. I want it. Where's my copy, Jeff? I want to see that. Why would your best friend uh, cut you out like that? You guys are best buds. Wait, what? <laughs> you used to always say that you were. Oh you were yeah. Best oh friend. okay. Yeah. No, we are besties. <laughs> we were besties. Yo, should I should I DM him? He, he, he's pretty fast, fast to respond. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if he'll send me a version. Go to my DMs. Jeffy boy. Dubrick. I mean, it's possible that TMZ just got it uh, via the court system. I'm pretty sure they like no, monitor I, I, that shit. I think if so, someone would have the version of the lawsuit out by now, because that'd mean everyone would have it. Uh, I suppose right. If it hasn't actually been filed yet, yeah. It seems like all the articles lead back to TMZ's reporting. So I don't right. think it's yeah. out. Or well, well, when you okay, when you file a lawsuit, it does become public. Right. So. I guess it takes a couple days maybe to, to go up. So, but I'm still surprised it's not viewable. Well, I said, yo, can I get a copy of the lawsuit? Let's see what Jeffy Boy's got for me. My bestie, Jeffy. In the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, former Vlog Squad member Jeff Wittick says he traveled to Utah Lake in the summer of 2020 with David and a group of friends to shoot videos as part of the. D- D- Dubrick social media comeback. I love that. Dubrick? I just love that whole story. <laughs> it was part of his big comeback. You're right. Wittick says the plan for one video was to use an excavator operated by Dobrik with one hand, guys, remember? Because he was filming on Gotta the other one. Got that shot. Got to get that shot. And I'll, let, me, let me ask you this. Which one do you think he was more focused on? Driving the excavator or getting the shot? I think he pulled a total of Brant and just focused on the shot. No, I'm going to go ahead and say it was 50-50. No, nope, Zach's right. Wrong answer, Dan. 50. He pulled a LeBrant. My point is that 50-50 is probably still a low enough bar. That is giving him way too much credit, dude. But the point is is that it should be 100% of your focus on operating the giant piece of machinery that can kill people very easily. <laughs> Zach's right. They pulled a LeBrant. Right. LeBrant. Yeah, of course, right? They say, you know, they, when you get, like, some kind of uh, medicine, they say, do not operate heavy machinery. Right. They don't have that on cameras, but I guess it's self-explanatory. Do not drive a car while filming <laughs> on this camera. Wittick says the plan for one video was to use the excavator 
in the water, including a wakeboard. We know all that. However, when it claims Dobrik then suggested people get swung around by the machine that he was operating by only holding the rope. Wittick says when it was his turn, David started to swing him around quickly. The docks claimed Dobrik noticed he was moving the excavator too fast and slowed down abruptly, causing Wittick to slam into the side of the excavator, causing him serious injury. While he doesn't list the specifics of his injury in the lawsuit, Wittick has previously discussed what happened that day, saying he almost died. He broke his foot, hip, tearing a ligament in his leg, shattering his skull in eight places. I didn't know it was that bad. He broke his foot and hip. That's insane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because his foot was attached to the rope. Right. Oh, probably just... Yeah. Oh, my God. All bad. No, it's brutal. He, yeah, brutal. He, fell, he fell face first toward the water. Terrific. And you can't really get a more... You can't really get more injured than that. I mean, that's... It's devastating. That's a devastating injury, yeah. I missed the mark with that one. You sure did, buddy. Weddick says as a result of the accident, he's suffered wage loss. That's got to be true. Loss of earning capacity. That's got to be true. Racked up hospital bills. He's suing for general negligence and intentional tort. Intentional tort? Hmm. He's suing for more than $10 million. Okay. Woo. We reached out to a rep for David. So far, no word back. Dude, this is going to be so interesting to follow. Intentional tort uh, means intentional torts are wrongful acts done on purpose. A person does not need to actually mean harm, but the other, uh, the other person ends up hurt anyways, such as a prank. Um, there, that's it. Yeah, I mean, that sounds... That's right on the nose, actually. Yeah. It's wow. a prank, bro. <laughs> David Dobrik's defense in court will, of course, be play that again. It's a prank, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the most common intentional tort for which people contact an attorney is battery, assault, and trespassing. So it seems like it fits within that um, realm. Wow, ten million, dude. He to be honest, he owes Jeff ten million dollars. Like, let's just be real. He owes him more than $10 million for what he did to him. Good for Jeff. I'm glad he overcame his, like, uh, whole tough guy bravado and actually just stood up for himself the right way. Yeah. Look, I, I can we just take a moment and see how David's doing? You know? How is, it, it, That's true. This has got to be really heavy for David, yeah. actually. The betrayal. Lance, yeah, you know? right. Yeah. I you can't. I feel, you know, we I hope David's all right. Yeah, I just hope David's all right through all these hard times. Hard times. Yeah. Just to recap, it was the uh, Casey Neistat documentary, if I'm not mistaken, that sparked uh, Jeff being like, fuck this. You know, he's going to betray me a certain way in this documentary, which isn't true. Then, That's true. Yeah, I've been defending him this whole time. You're right. It was from the Casey doc, which, by the way, I wonder when it's going to do a full release because most people still haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. I hope it goes. To, I hope it goes to one of the big streaming apps. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, it looks like it doesn't yet have distribution, which is surprising. Hmm. Honestly, I think most of these big networks are so burned on doing YouTuber shit. They're probably hesitant to pick it up. They've. I mean, every network. I don't know how people are able to pitch. These executives are so out of touch. And these managers who pitch these shows, like the Hype House and the fucking, the, uh, that kid had a show on Netflix, what was his name? Um, Chasing, he was a Vine star. Oh, oh Cam Cameron Dallas? Cameron yeah, Dallas. Chasing yeah. Cameron Dallas. I mean, every time an influencer has made a show on a traditional media platform, it's been an absolute train wreck, waste of money for them. I feel like this one is so different from all of that though i agree i think i think it that someone should pick this up but it yeah, seems yeah. like those executives are really clueless like why the fuck would people want to watch the hype house like this documentary is obviously way better produced well david even after all this shit came out david had a show come out in discovery mm -hmm. yeah isn't that crazy that's just right, mind-blowing right. <laughs> like right 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 but you know we feel for david and we hope he's you know doing okay yeah actually on discovery um 
they have a new show coming out this uh, fall. James Charles is touring all of his favorite elementary schools in the country. And he's going to be basically meeting all the kids and just telling like, which one has the best playground. Because, you know, so that's really interesting. Oh. America's Best Playground is actually the name of James Charles' new discovery show, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, Discovery, I just heard, is giving, they're, they're giving a G, G. Lane a, a show. G. Lane Maxwell? Yeah. Yeah. My favorite, my favorite places to find girls to traffic, and it's, it's really interesting. So, G. Lane, everybody, on Discovery. Thank you. Also, thank you to BZ for 10 Gifted Sub. Appreciate you for that. Keep the, keep the applause coming. Keep it coming. Thank you to Cy. Bucks. To think a guy like Dobrik would think to use mounted GoPros instead of a one-handed, one-handing it, incident probably wouldn't have happened. That's true. But he's got to be in control. You well, know there was I mean? like there was ten, ten plus points where all of this could have been prevented with just a little bit of forethought. Totally. Like having a medic on standby, or how about just totally? I mean, was Jeff even wearing a helmet? No. No. no like, how about not. just? We're doing something really fucking crazy. Maybe just throw a helmet on. Like, there, he would have still got hurt, but not, like, shattered his skull, most likely. You know? Yeah. If one, even one precaution was taken yeah. of the, you know, multiple that should have, then, yeah, it could have been prevented. Or, like, a by, like one of their friends as a bystander that, that weren't doing the, the, like, tricks on the excavator. Why, why didn't anyone say, like, excuse me? So according to Jeff, they did say, let's not do this. It's too dangerous. I know that Corinna got off and she was like, oh, my God, no, 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 it's no. It's too no. dangerous. Yeah, right. but, but like there was an entire crowd of people there. It seemed to me that people were nervous about it, but like I think the, prob or the problem, right, is that David power. has that whole thing where he gets people to do shit they're not comfortable with. Well, he's learning a very expensive lesson about, you know, actually being the leader or, you know, owner of right content uh, because you know coming from a YouTube world and a vlog world and this very casual friends group or whatever um, and I'm not making excuse for him it's obviously still really stupid but um, I wouldn't doubt that he didn't really think that way he didn't have that mindset at all um, and which if he did it's like oh if something goes wrong it's on me because this is my content. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even yeah. if it's somebody else that makes the mistake, you know, suddenly you, you start to think a lot more uh, in terms of safety. So. 100%, 100%. By the way, thank you to BZ for another 10. Subs. Another 10? Yeah, that guy's off on fire. Go, BZ. There was a few others earlier. Uh, Brett C. and Ferkst. Sorry if uh, that's not how it's pronounced, but they both uh, gifted five apiece. So thank you, t -Buck. Thank you, my my dudes so anyway that that's gonna be really interesting to follow actually and i saw emily baker was talking about it so actually that would be cool to see her covering that all that yeah i, I wonder if she i want a public trial <laughs> yeah we should stream that that'd be yeah, awesome for real uh the other cool th or not cool crazy fucked up thing that happened So Mike Ma Mal, by the way, my, okay, Mike Ma Malgic, Malik, Malik. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Dan, Is that right? I mean, that's how I heard them say it on the podcast I was watching a few days ago. Okay. I think you're right. Ma Ma Just like Mike that, I was Malik. I always thought it was Majlik. Yeah, Majlik. Yeah. Wait, what? Majlik. 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 Malik. You all are saying it differently. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> I don't know the answer, so I'm Malibu. Big Mike. Malibu. About Mike. Mike. Big Mikey. I Mama shit Mia. my pants today. <laughs> that's so funny because that's what you always say, Zach, that he shit his pants. He was right. He said it on multiple occasions. Zach that's was so right. crazy. But yeah, so he talks about how he just bought a four point one million dollar house. And it's obviously sponsored by this huge crypto scam. You I don't know if you guys heard about this uh, crypto thing called Celsius, yeah. and it was a huge platform, and the way it worked is that you would give them your crypto, you would lend them your crypto, and they would pay you 10% interest annually. Now, if you know anything about... 20%. Are you fucking serious? Right, love? 
Am I getting that right? Wasn't Celsius offering 20% interest on deposits? I never used Celsius, unfortunately. Wait, uh, that's, okay. a, that's actually important to know. Because 20% is like just a I mean, It's absurd. 10% yeah. is obviously a scam. 20 is not is absurd, too. 5% means everything. 5% is, is a lot even to offer. 5% difference is astronomical. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, maybe... Okay. Maybe... Oh, on some... It, so it depended on the coin. On certain coins, yeah, like this one, they were offering up to 18.6%. It looks like yeah, most of them are closer to 10%, like you said. So between 10 and 18%. I and mean, that's still, you know... Um, yeah, so if you know, really high. If you if know you, anything about equity and investing... A guaranteed return of 10% is literally a scam. I mean, that's what Bernie Madoff offered. And it just doesn't exist. There's no such thing as a guaranteed uh, return on anything. The most you'll ever see a guaranteed return on is like maybe at max 2% where it's like uh, trustworthy. The thing is, if you put, yeah, you can make 10% year over year on the stock market. But the thing is, as you guys saw now, Stock market goes up and down, and you can lose 40% of your net worth or whatever you've gotten there overnight. So what these guys are offering, no risk, baby. It's just 10%. So that's a scam, right? And so Celsius had built... How much was that company worth? It was like a huge, well-trusted company. And these people in crypto are just such suckers because this is so obviously a scam. And it got... Yeah, you guys want to see what what uh, banks offer? Uh, just, just this is just for comparison. You can get a whopping zero point zero nine percent from banks on uh, money market accounts, as opposed to ten percent. <laughs> banks are bullshit, though. That's fucking bullshit. I don't know why banks are such scum like that. It could be higher. Wait, just a, in terms of how low it is? Yeah. Yeah, but your money's insured, and if the bank goes under, uh, you know, you won't get screwed, unlike these. Well, your money's not going to disappear, which is what happened with Celsius. Yes, correct. So, yeah, Celsius just, all of a sudden, they paused withdrawals. Everybody lost their money. And so what's happened now, how much pe did people lose in Celsius? That was one of the big reasons for the crypto crash. It was basically a whole BitConnect thing all over again. Yeah, there's some similarities to the BitConnect thing for sure. But people get keep getting, and so Mike, my, my point is, is out here shilling an obvious scam disguised as a cool thing he used to buy his new house. He doesn't ever say it's sponsored. We know it's sponsored because if you even click the link, it has a tracking URL. You can see here, it says campaign, social media campaign. It's all being tracked. So he's definitely got some deal worked out with the company. Let's listen to this. And it's just so scummy, you know, because Mike, I just get so fucking sick of those two guys. Mike and Logan, they, they, prop themselves off as up as these great guys and they're open I'm just I can't express this enough they're openly scamming people dink doink which I always bring up was an open fucking rug pull and now Mike is doing a total fucking scam company I cannot express this company is going to you're going to lose all your money if you put it in this Watch this. And all I had to do was make a down payment of $1.2 million in cash, and the house was mine. Let me go back wow. a little bit. Wow. Wow. Now it's time to work, because we got to go quick. And just like that, I was back in escrow, and all I had to do was make a down payment of one. Sorry, but this is obviously an ad. Just look at how he's talking about it. Should I go back further? I want okay. the whole context. $1.2 million this in is cash, good context. and the house was mine. There was just one problem. I didn't have $1.2 million He's on, on Jeff's set, by the way. The sidelines. Oh, I was wondering. Interesting. Yeah, they must use the same studio. Hmm. Cuz. Yeah, I know. There's so much fucking money. So now we had an issue. This really was my dream home, but I didn't want to sell the ape either because I just made such a big deal about buying it. And I really like the furry little fucker. Here's where things get interesting. Through some mutual friends, I got connected to a company called Arcade that specializes in NFT backed loans. So the deal went like. Okay, Arcade, NFT backed loans. 
if your scam alerts aren't tingling already, <laughs> then I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, but this is great. Uh, Mike, you are such a dumb fuck for doing this. A piece of shit. You know this is a scam, Mike. Stop this shit. This. I would lock my Bored Ape NFT into Arcade's protocol. They would then give me a loan of USD coin against it. I could then convert that USD coin into American dollars to help pay my... Oh, why are we even debating if it's sponsored? They, you got a whole... He got a got whole a graphic. infograph from yeah. them. What the fuck? He never even discloses. Does he? It's so small. Does he disclose that it's a sponsored? Not that I could see in the description. Yeah, I mean, that's... He just says, check it out. So that's uh, illegal, actually, sort too. Of, I mean, check it out with the bit.ly link. It kind no. of implies that. No, no, no. You have to say explicitly that you are sponsored by them. And actually, you have to tell YouTube, too. Bro, that's... Right, there's that checkbox in the back end. This video sponsored, is sponsored. Yeah. Uh, is there a way to see if that is on? No, if he did, it would say it here. It would yeah. say, this is a sponsored video. Right. Like, on all of our podcasts, you'll see underneath it says, this podcast is sponsored content. Mm-hmm. What's epic about that link, too, if you click on it, it says campaign... Oh, he pointed it out. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You were, you were I love when you do that, A.B. I'm sorry. It's because I'm listening to other stuff. It's not that I'm... He, no, he I, was, know, I know, I know, I know. You're in the zone. You're in the yeah. zone. You're digging. And then people go, oh, A.B.'s not paying... No, A.B.'s oh, working like, his ass off. Back. He's always something else. He's yeah. digging something up. Yeah. yeah. But it is funny when you do that. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I literally just said that like a minute ago. <laughs> but yeah, he's in the trenches, guys. A.B.'s the best. <laughs> Thank you. We love AB. Thank you. We, we love AB. He works his heart out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why does Mike's voice sound like he was? Mike's voice sounds like he. I got a bad feeling about this for some reason. What? Shit. Shit his... I don't know just where you're going with this. You don't like where I'm going? I. I don't know where you're going. I'll tell like, you what it's. Let's not, let's ride it out. Let's find out. Mike's right. voice sounds like he was throat fucked. See, I by a I, I by a fucking <laughs> crackhead with like late stage genital herpes. Or it also sounds like a man that shits his gym shorts at a twenty four hour fitness. Sure. That's what that sounds like. Yep, throw that in there too. <laughs> but you guys know what I'm saying when it goes. You've seen those in sex ed. The late stays STDs where they just look like, they don't look foul. Uh, it looks like a lion's mane, and it's like, it's just uh, insane. So, it's like, what happened to your voice, bro? Did you get throat fucked by late stage herpes? Yo, I think I might have shit my pants. <laughs> anyway, back to the scam. My down payment on my traditional mortgage. It would hold on to my NFT until I was able to repay the loan and then I would get the eight back. This was perfect. And just like that, the problem was solved and I was about to be the first person to ever leverage an NFT to buy a fucking house. They were about to make the transfer when the unimaginable happened. Bitcoin is down more than 50% from the dun, high. Dun, Investors dun. getting jolted by volatility rippling through the crypto world. Crypto obviously <laughs> right now getting crushed. Motherfucker, who is throwing all these fucking curveballs? So yeah, the crypto and NFT markets shit the fucking bed, but because apes were such a strong project, I was still able to make the loan happen. So again, this is all part of the script, I feel like, to be like, what are they trying to do? Are they trying to steal people's apes? But he's like, yo, but just because the mark, this is the way of the clever marketing way of saying, just because the market shit doesn't mean you can't still give, do this deal. Yeah, um, to be honest, I, their business model is ba even more baffling than something like Celsius. Because Celsius, you know, they basically, you deposit your money in there and they promise you this interest and then they take that money and they trade with it to they get the money right like you give yeah, them yeah. your money and then while it's locked with them and they're paying you interest on it they're then taking that block of money and betting on the market with it to try and make more money and that's how they theoretically pay out the dividends which works fine when everything is going up but then Ponzi scheme right but then the market crashes and all of a sudden they don't have the money to pay out uh all that stuff and people want to withdraw their money they don't have it because it's tied up in their investments. That all, like, even though it, it's, it's scummy, makes sense to me. This thing that he's describing 
you lock, you give them your board aid, your fucking stupid monkey JPEG, and they give you a pile of cash, and then you pay it back over a year or whatever. Something's they, fishy there. How are they making money off of a board eight? Like you can't. That's not divisible. Well, somebody said CoffeeZilla made a video about them. That could be interesting to watch. Yeah, I agree. It makes no sense. There's got to be something in there where like. Because it's crypto, too. I wonder what kind of contract you signed, because... In reality, you guys got scammed. By the way, we got some great donations. Holy here. shit, somebody did Thank 20. Thank you, too. Stocks go down. <laughs> I can't read your whole name, but I'm sure it's funny. Gifted 20 subs. Thank you 20 so much. Subs. And somebody also donated 100 bucks. Vandal. Vandal said, thank you, buddy. I did some fan art of Ethan up on my Instagram. You want to pull that up? At Vandal. Check it out. It's just like... When do you guys pull that up? It's just... UB. Yeah, but but obviously the whole thing is fishy as fuck. It, it, it's it's not making any sense. Oh, uh, like that? that's pretty cool. That's me dreaming of b-wording <laughs> buildings. <laughs> nice, thank you, Vandal. Oh, another twenty gifted. Another twenty from stocks go down. Yeah. I wish I could see the whole name. Memberships go up. Oh, or members go up. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's the other. <laughs> Stocks go down, members go up. Woo! Love that. So, anyway, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, yeah, what's the business model here? He's the first person... Uh, let's just keep watching, dumbass Mike. And so I had the ape appraised at today's value and was able to pull a $200,000 USDC loan against it, which was enough to scrape together the $1.2 million down payment to secure my mortgage and the keys to my dream home. And that leads us to today. You are now looking at the very first home so that was probably the end of the sponsored read right yeah the remainder of the video is him showing off the house and stuff so yeah that's that's the gist of it but yeah what probably happened is they just paid him two hundred thousand for that spot right or more i don't know yeah who knows let's go to the website um so it's arcade.xyz well, are you checking well, out Coffee's uh, video on it? How long ago did he make that video? So this is from four days ago, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, this is, no, this is about Celsius. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cel that, yeah. That, yeah, we knew about the whole Celsius thing. Yeah, yeah, Celsius is really interesting. I mean, it's just a catastrophic loss. And I feel bad for people. I don't know how long it's going to take for people in the crypto space to realize they're just being scammed by everybody. Well... I think a lot of people are realizing it now. Celsius, <laughs> I think, I think we're, in, we're in the period of time. But you're right. I mean, like the Bitcoin still... was years ago, and it, uh, these things happen in cycles, you know, and Scamming people, people. kind of forget. I mean, look, it's still worth a lot. Bitcoin right now is worth 20000 That that's that That's a lot. Yeah, and it's easy to forget, but early on in the run of the show, uh, in you know, 2017, early 2018 was the last time that crypto was having like a big blow up moment or whatever, and people were freaking out because Bitcoin was up to, I think it peaked at like 18k or something. Hey, hey. So it's actually still higher than it was before it the last crash. Yeah, in 2020, I'm looking at it. In 2020, it was worth about 7,000 throughout the year, so it's still way up. That there's still way more money in this. Yeah. Uh, but which, last time, there wasn't all of these, like, shit coins. Like, that's kind of, like, the new thing. I mean, some of them did exist, but, you know, the, the level of hype and investment going into all these so coins. So, let's click there. Mike's uh, mar uh, partner app, and let's see what kind of bullshit this is. It says calculator. Let's see. The calculator it's is just a normal part. bank. And the, Wait, the this has nothing to do money, with the NFTs. The way they make money is just interest. And you lock up your NFT, so if you can't pay the interest, they take the it's NFT. It's the collateral, yeah. right? It's just like a bank, yeah. But that's the thing is like, so he gives them his stupid monkey JPEG, and they give him two hundred thousand dollars, and then the whole market crashes, and they've got collateral of this monkey JPEG that is definitely not worth two hundred thousand dollars. No one would ever use that as collateral. Right. Well, well, so like what incentive does Mike actually have to pay it back? I mean, unless he really likes his. That's what I'm pay. saying, too. I mean, how are you <laughs> going to enforce a crypto? Can you do predatory loans with crypto? I mean, it's just <laughs> what do you what do you owe me? You're like, yo, you owe me this virtual money. I don't see a court enforcing that. You could set up smart contracts. I mean, that's a way to Wait, get the money back. I can choose interest rate. That's the best part. 
I can choose my interest rate? What does that mean? Well, so you want to borrow some money. How much interest do you want to pay? <laughs> Five, lowest possible. Oh, okay, good choice. <laughs> what about if you were lending, what interest do you want? Yeah, why don't you lend them some money? That's the, you see that other Let's lend there? them money. So, so this is the Celsius thing, by the way. So let's say I'm going to give you 100 ETH. That's $100,000. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, 100 ETH used to be like $500,000. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, choose your interest. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, I'm going to lend them, yeah, 20%. I mean, if I were you, I'd lend it at like 100%. Okay, so it says, oh, the duration. Okay, so let's say nine months. Okay, check this out. Here's how you know this website's a total fucking scam. <laughs> I'm lending them 100 ETH. I still don't understand what the fuck... I mean, it's just a calculator, so maybe it's just for argument's sake. And why do they have actually 60, get that interest rate? Sixty percent interest rate. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I loan my money to them at sixty percent interest? It's a good deal. I, I, I'm just, I'm so confused. Is anything changing in this when the percent changes? I'm going to guess that you just lock in the money for a longer period of, period of time. Okay, if so, the, right. so if you do 60%, if you want 60% back, it says yeah. in nine months. Right, they, in their calculator, the longest duration is nine months. So these are all short-term loans. So in, in, in nine months, yeah. you can get 45% return. And you can make $63,000 on a $100,000 investment in nine months. Again, real life it, it, money glitch. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's because money duping. Money <laughs> dupe glitch. I'm just duping my coins. <laughs> yeah, so this is a scam. This, 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 is in, this is the same thing Celsius was doing. It's actually even more egregious. Um, this, this is just an outright total scam. They're going to steal your money. For sure. Or it's just going to go under... Well, I mean, effectively, they're stealing. Yeah, it. they'll go under with your coins. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, again, that's just the calculator. So, I mean, I, I doubt you would actually get those interest rates, but it's kind of funny to me that they even, you know, give the 60% option. It's like, who's giving you 60% on a loan? If we do 60%. I'm so confused by this calculator, though. They said they're, they're just a middleman. It looks like they're peer-to-peer -peer borrowing system where they trade NFTs for coins. Yeah, I mean, yeah, effectively. But I don't know about peer-to-peer. -peer. That would mean that there's somebody, an individual, not the company on the other side, who's no, they're not going to give Mike $200,000. That's bullshit. If you loan money, it goes to them. There's no peer-to-peer. -peer. Come on. I mean, they definitely get a cut either way, yeah. No, they, they're going to hold the money. There's no way they're just passing it to someone else. That'd be mayhem. That'd be chaos. Well, I mean, the, the, how the fuck? Yeah, Who's going to enforce any payback? It. No, I mean, they give money to someone else. It doesn't mm -hmm. specifically. Right. Need to they're a the banker. Ones. Yeah. Peer to peer yeah. means you're lending someone else the money. R right. right. Or, or just that's like, what every bank does. They yeah. give. They t use your money in the bank to give people loans. It's our whole business model. Right. I guess maybe they're saying it's actually direct person to person rather than... Like, I understand what you're saying. It is it's at not. the end of the day. Right. Yeah, well, It's not person to person. Um, anyway, so Mike shilled for this straight up at, uh, scam. So shout out Mike. But the other funny thing about the Bored Apes that I watched, I watched that whole video, by the way, the oh, you did? Bored Ape Nazi Club. I actually, I didn't, I, I don't have it in the doc for today because uh, I thought it'd be interesting to talk to Hassan about it tomorrow because there is definitely a political slant to it too. But if you want me to uh, grab that real quick so we can shout it out. Um, yeah, I want to. Let me pull it up. Bored, Bored Ape Nazi Club. This guy made a video, a YouTube video that I really recommend everyone watch is by this YouTuber named Fillion and it's called Bored Ape Nazi Club and he basically lays out indisputable proof in my opinion that this whole Bored Ape Yacht Club is like a straight up Nazi dog whistle it's crazy dude it's indisputable let me show you some of the basically 
This is the main, like... This one is, is, is undeniable. Look at the, watch this part here, okay? The, there's so many connections, but there's a few that are like, wow, that's undeniable. Watch this part here. Mention Prussia because that will play out later when we examine some of the bored apes. Both logos also have 18 teeth. If you're unfamiliar, the alt-right white supremacists and neo-Nazis love oh, wait, Alpha. Back here. This back here. Hold on. is the exact day that Hitler the, won. And the Bored Ape Yacht Club was launched on April 30th which is the exact day that Hitler died. The launch of Bored Ape Yacht Club was actually on the 23rd with a week-long pre-sale and they sold out before the 30th. However, they made it a point to tell the New Yorker that it was the 30th. I have shown this picture to various artists. This is Bored Ape Yacht Club's main logo that they use across all of their branding and social media accounts. Not too bad, right? How about now? Most of them left uncomfortably in sheer disbelief. The audacity to do this is mind-blowing. It does not take a genius to see that this Bored Ape Yacht Club logo is a direct copy of the Toten Kopf. The skull and bones represents death and was used by both Prussia and Nazi Germany as a military emblem representing death heads. I only mention Prussia because that will play out later when we examine some of the Bored Apes. Both logos also have 18 teeth. If you're unfamiliar Familiar, the alt-right white supremacists and neo-nazis love alphanumeric code the number 18 is a symbol of yes yeah, so the logo is clearly there's no alternative explanation for that is there no it's obviously inspired by it and yeah i mean he, he sort of lays out the argument that um you know it may be that the people behind it are neo-nazis or maybe they're just fucking 4chan trolls that think it's hilarious to, you know, ironically be super racist or whatever. Um, either way, I mean, the end result is the same. I don't think it really I don't, matters I think you have to be or not. I think you have to be racist to do this because, well, let, let me go further down the, the rabbit hole. So the name Board 8 Yacht Club comes directly from, there's this saying in the alt-right, like Nazi... Uh, people that originated on 4chan. It was called, um, okay, surfing. This this was blew my fucking mind. Surfing the Kali Yuga. You've heard that, right? Which that's actually uh, not related to the board ape name itself, but to it the is. Name I'll of, show you why. To the name of the company. Yeah, I know, but right. so I'm getting so anyway. Surfing the Kali Yuga is a phrase that's been used by like Nazis and white supremacists on 4chan. Uh, the Kali Yuga is like a phase of Indian culture, like the dark times, and they're like, just surf the Kali Yuga, embrace being the bad guy. And so they go, just surf the Kali Yuga or whatever. So this is a known phrase. Yeah, and it's all super anti-Semitic and racist. So the name of their company is Yuga... Productions? Yuga Labs. Yuga Labs. Yeah. That's way too uh, specific. And then the other thing that blew my mind is that there's a Telegram group in 2019 before Board Apes was made called, it was a well-known group called Kali Yuga Surfing Club, which featured alt-right, anti-SJW, and Nazi-centric memes. So listen to this. Kali Yuga Surfing Club is literally the inspired. It's like the same board a board a yacht club by Kali or I'm sorry Yuga Labs. Yeah, I mean Kali Yuga Surfing Club board a yacht club. So like, um, it's kind of we it's crazy how the lengths that they went when you watch it. Um, wait, I just realized how he responded to me on Twitter. Look at this. Yeah, it's crazy the links they went to to pull this off. And they have explanations to, like, they go, oh, Yuga's the name of, like, a Zelda boss. And he's like, dude, that's, like, the most obscure boss in Zelda ever. Uh, but it's obviously racist dog calls, and it, I actually found the whole thing disturbing. 
this thing of them being like uh, ironic racist shit posters didn't really buy it because they're just so intimately aware with this whole alt-right Nazi, uh, neo-Nazi memes and stuff. I don't see how you could understand all that without believing it. Really disturbing stuff. I said, but, uh, how we tweeted out makes me squirm. And then I said, let's go. <laughs> and he said, uh, how we said, bro, you tweet a lot. Let's go where? So there you have it, guys. Me interacting with Howie. Let's go. <laughs> it was fun. Never mind. What do you? So what should I say? Abby? Go. Just say it. Go for it. Tell him I have a certain building in mind. The NR. Well, I'll just say <laughs> no, let's no, no, go no, to no. the NRA. Don't do that. Why are you <laughs> suggesting that? <laughs> it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. B Y O B. Oh my God. <laughs> B Y O. Bring your own booze. I got it. Yes, right. Of course. <laughs> I like chaos, Dan. Uh, since when? Since I get a week off. Of <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, it's really disturbing. And then you get into the whole thing with the apes, which is like super racist. I mean, let's be honest. And you're like, well, maybe it's just a coincidence, but it really is just racist. It's so fucked up. I think, uh, you know, Wondering the point that he made, which I think is, is valid, is it's, you know, one thing, two thing, maybe three things you can write off as a coincidence or as a stretch or whatever. But this dude lays out a lot of connections. Like, almost every single aspect of this entire project has these embedded messages and uh, all kind of stuff. Um, I, the one that I actually found the most slam dunk because it's so, it's so specific is um, you know all of the board apes are numbered, and mm -hmm. fourteen the ape that is fourteen eighty eight which is the uh, you know sort of Nazi yeah. you know dog whistle uh, of note um, is wearing a jumpsuit with like the year that uh, who was it it was like a, a famous Nazi who was in jail um, eventually died in that year uh and so the fact that um you know that particular number has this sort of nazi further nazi iconography contained within here it is ape itself it, it seems this is the board ape number 1488 if you guys don't know 1488 is like uh the 14 is heil yeah. the 88 no. is heil hitler yeah uh, no. h is the 14 is adolf Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the 14 is the, the 14 words, which is sort of a mantra okay, yeah. about uh, that white supremacy. So this is <laughs> So this is the board ape 1488, and he has a jumpsuit with the number 19019807. Right. And so 1987 was the year that this famous Nazi died in prison and is sort of like a um, a uh, icon amongst uh neo -Nazis. he was okay i thought that one maybe was a stretch because like lots of people die in prison yes but again the fact that you have multiple nazi references in the one that happens to be 1488 i mean it, it again and this is on top of yeah the logo he looking like the ss symbol and all these guys yeah. having coded names yeah. for neo -Nazi. Like so, that, that was the point in the video that I was like, all right, yeah, that, that seems hard to. What I was going to show you guys next is like these are the four founders, and each one of their names is a, not, is a Nazi dog whistle. And he explains how like each one of these names connects to some fucked up Nazi shit. And he also shows that they're super into like cryptography and shit, and they had this elaborate puzzle, so where you had to like decipher codes for a for a prize. And this is stuff that they do, which I think he did a good job of proving that this is all intentional. Like in cryptography, apparently you get rid of the zeros. So it says 1987, but let me see. 1987 Nazi? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Was his name Rudolf Hess? It sure was. Okay, interesting. So it is a thing. Yep. Wow, that's crazy.
Yeah, dude, these dudes are sick, and it's really fucked up that, like, all these celebrities and shit got, uh, what the fuck? We got so many gifted subs. Which, by the way, Rudolf Hess wasn't just a Nazi. He was the deputy Fuhrer. He was, you know, essentially second in command of Nazi Germany, so. So, yeah, you guys should watch the video. It's super, super good. I'm sure it's mature rated because there's, like, insane content throughout. Right. Also, also, they drop an F bomb in like second five, and I always cringe when I see users, do, creators do that. They just don't know. You can't say the F bomb in the first thirty seconds. Right. Just wait. Wait a minute. But nobody knows that. Yeah. YouTube should s say that. But yeah, you guys should watch the whole thing. It's a fillion, and it's like people really need to know. He's a great creator, by the way. I, you know, it wasn't until because he doesn't show his face in this video until very late in it, and uh, it wasn't until deep into the video where he popped up that I realized we actually knew him because he's done a lot of exposes. Um, he was the one that did the big Wizza expose um, with the Nelk Boys, fake, fake oh, giveaways shit. and Ferraris and stuff. Dude, this guy's great. Yeah, he, so shout he, out to him. He, he makes some great content. So this is a really important video, I feel like, and uh, it just, it's crazy how everything in the crypto space is either a straight up scam, predatory, and now you looking at the Board Eight Club, Board Yacht Eight Club, whatever the fuck, which is like the big successful thing that you think about on crypto, and it's all literally Nazi dog calls, like fucking Nazi dog calls, and they built a whole empire. They've tricked celebrities into talking about it. I mean, the whole thing is just embarrassing, and people just got absolutely. It's 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 disturbing Damned. and it's disgusting and like I really think people need to know more about this company. It's so fucked up. Um, dude, this guy gave this guy uh, members go up. What is this? The same one? He changed his name. Holy shit! One, two, three, four, five, six. How much did he give? One hundred. One hundred. Oh my god! Thank you, bro. One hundred gifted subs. Subs, members go up, my dude. Well, he's, yeah, he's making good on his name. What a legend. Yeah, what a guy. So, I don't, I found this whole should, video. YouTube should add, like, leaderboards for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, Twitch has that, where, like, um, the person. Isn't that a plug-in, a third-party thing? No, no. It's just yeah. built in on Twitch. I went and, uh, AB was streaming, like, a week ago, and I went uh, and saw that Zach was his number one gift subber or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was like, that can't stand. So I, I gifted one more than you, Zach. So I, I took the- Wait, on ABs? On ABs. How, how much did Zach gift you? He uh, gifted like five and I gifted like six. Yeah. It, it wasn't like- Damn, the boys supporting boys. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why right. I think I'm number one on loves now. You, this oh, okay. is a good race for AB. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, so Zach and I have a deal. Every time he does that, I, I shout out his song. Yeah. Oh, very kind of you. Well, scratch my back. Scratch yeah, you. I'll do it for free, Zach. Just so. Yeah. so anyway, there you have it. It was really disturbing, and I hope more people watch this. This whole crypto space is just fucking horrible from top down, and uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. This one, what a fucking psychos, dude. There you have it. What else we got? How long we've been going? Two hours, 40 minutes. Let's see. Oh, let's watch the Keemstar one. We've waited. Okay, now we're at the end. Everybody knows what we're here to do. So Keemstar is butthurt that Ninja uh, took his uh, G Fuel flavor. Candy. As you guys know, G Fuel and Keemstar parted ways, which was tragic and horrible. The first time anyone's ever talked to a sponsor, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no, you started that whole trend, you monster. I still feel like that whole thing was silly. So silly. Nobody's ever lost a sponsor because of shitty things that they've done until you broke the seal. Well, what was so funny is like, him and a lot of channels, so many channels were defending him just for that. So fucking dumb. Even like, I would say, even Critical made a video being like, Ethan fucked up, she shouldn't have done that. I love Critical. 
But I was just, my point is that like, that was an opinion that was echoed throughout the YouTube space. And they're like, YouTube is gonna change forever now. When creators get in beef, they're gonna call out each other's sponsors and Ethan's open a can of worms and it's never gonna be the same. Fast forward like three years, nothing fucking changed. Nothing changed. Because it already was. It was already like that, obviously. And always has been. Nothing you fucking didn't... changed. <laughs> like. I didn't ruin YouTube. See you guys three years later. We're all still here. We're doing fine. It's like, God, it's so annoying how they, I feel like they all missed the fucking point. But anyway, whatever. Uh, and I feel like I barely called out the G Fuel thing too. I thought it was just funny. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. But okay, whatever. So he lost his G Fuel sponsorship. Some would say because of me. He would. He would definitely. And he had the, I guess, highly coveted cotton candy flavor. Mm. Now, what does oh, it yeah. mean that that's his flavor? Love, you probably have an insight on this. Was that his yeah. idea or did they give him the cotton candy flavor? Right. So as a G Fuel connoisseur, I can answer this. Uh, <laughs> So every creator gets to like the G Fuel pitches a couple of flavors and they get get to pick it, and I guess Keemstar picked the cotton candy. Uh, I actually have it right here, the old OG one, and it's honestly my favorite. So I'm very glad it's back. That's what I hear is everybody Yay. loves the cotton candy. So yeah. I have a feeling that Keemstar was making quite a bit of money. Certainly from that yeah. cotton candy one. Yeah. But Kim, even if I, even if that never happened, I mean, let's be honest. The ninja is gonna make them a lot more money than you. I mean, hold on, so, Zach. Uh, you, you're, you're, you don't Zach. deserve the cotton candy one anymore. Oh, yes, we Kim. have to. He keeps playing that sound, but there's no context. What is that? That's sound, the Zach? point, dude. That's we supposed to grow, we, man. It's a crime. It's a little to not show this video. It's a little inside joke we have around the office about ninja. We all stand ninja. Oh, ninja. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, guess it, I think it's time for for y'all to come out of the ninja closet right now. This office ninja. is full of of ninja stands. Since, I love ninja. Since here, I've got love, the link here. Since love came to town. <laughs> yeah. So Cam. So Cam made this. What is he freaking out about? He uh, he's he's <laughs> it's promo for his master class. And what? A, a BL streamer. Yeah, being a streamer. Yeah. Being, a streamer. Yeah. being a streamer. Being the best that ever did it. Yeah, Nino the goat. So <laughs> it just lubes. But it's what, been... but what, 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 what is what preceded this? Or <laughs> I need the context of this. I'll get the actual context. Yeah, I just want to see. It, it's I, just I, a, he was just excited, like <laughs> clearly. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> but ever since Love came to town in the States and he, like, expressed his love for Nina, that's all we talk about is Nina. And <laughs> we don't even say Ninja. We just say Nina. Nina. So, El Nina. Nina, yeah. That's how Love says it. So it's like, it's fucking a Ian, Sam, AB. Like, everyone just stands Nina. Okay, we get together. Nina. We get together in Fortnite and we all put on the Ninja skin. It's and awesome. Then you know, that's awesome. It's, it's rough. Wait, For can you talk playing. in game in Fortnite? Yeah. So you guys should just dress as ninja and just make this sound. Effect. Just loop it. Can other players hear you? No, they yeah. can't hear you. Just oh, oh. You can only but imagine at them. Yeah. That's sad. They don't imagine let me play with them killed. anymore because I didn't get the skin in time. I did love that about PUBG where you could talk to oh, yeah, everyone around yeah. you. That was Pretty awesome. Epic. Dan, th uh, maybe I won't out Dan for this. What? Know. That I'm not a ninja? I'm I'm the I'm the holdout here. I don't even play Fortnite, and I stand Nina. Um, but Dan just I don't know. He's not a Fortnite. Stan guy. Nina, Dan with the fuck? hater, hater ass. Fucking. I, I want to. I don't have any problem with Nina. I have a problem with Fortnite. It's a little baby game for okay, older oh children. Oh my god. So I, I want to show us a, a thing. Oh, is this com speaking of, comment? Speaking of G Fuel, his pin tweet still to this day. Wait, this is Keemstar's pin tweet oh, or no, comment? Comment cop. cops. Yeah. Oh, this was okay. <laughs> <laughs> if this is what I think it is, this is this is one of the great uh, videos. And another thing you did in this video is an absolute first for YouTube. You went after my sponsors. You went after my sponsors. Today we're going to be looking at Soar Gaming. Now Soar Gaming Wait, isn't is there a like channel crazy slurs in this video? Pause it. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's right. Well, there. Don't play this. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll play up too. But you guys get what well, you guys get words. He called. says the unalived word. Uh, well, he says the he's racial he says slurs. Actual yeah, he says the F slur a bunch. Yeah. The N word. Yes, I no, don't, I, that's not something Nina would never do, man. 
Hell no. We stand in here, right, love? <laughs> yeah, I want to show something, though, if you guys don't mind. Check this out. What do you got? The dock? Oh, that's the, what is the dock? Dock? Tumblers? Yeah, shaker. But this is a the rare shaker. one, because when you flip oh, the that's image... A rare shaker. Look at this. Look at this. Read uh -huh. the dock. Right. Boom. What does it say now? Dog shit? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, does he know it says that? No, it's not on purpose. It's an accident. Oh, that's that awesome. Funny. It says funny. dog shit. <laughs> How did you discover yeah. that? Uh, I think like it went viral, and I well, I have that. And Dude, I've that's tried so it until awesome. Now. It says uh, dog yeah. shit straight up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, what was I talking about? I closed my browser. Oh, yeah, Keemstar being a fucking baby. So... Anyway, he's mad at Ninja because right. he got the cotton candy flavor. And he's he's mad because Ninja uh, didn't tell him beforehand because he thinks they're friends. Keemstar, I think because he's an orphan, he has like deep abandonment issues. I'm just assume, I'm just making educated guess here. Right. Which is why he gets so... I think I'm really identify the issue. Which is why he gets so crazy when he per perceives people as like backstabbing or leaving him or going behind his back. Because he was abandoned by his parents. Where's your daddy? When someone like me leaves oh. a comment like, um, where's your daddy? <laughs> uh, he doesn't know, probably. Probably doesn't know where he is. But um, he probably has abandonment issues, right? So when I, someone like me leaves a comment like, oh, yeah, I know you guys don't like Keemstar. I don't either. He freaks out because he perceives that as, oh, he's going to leave me. He's going to backstab me. And it's actually really sad because I think it really goes to a really unfortunate, deep-seated trauma, which I get. You know, I mean, the, 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 I, I really do sympathize with that experience of his because, I mean, that's just so sad and horrible and so i think that's what happened with ninja that ninja didn't grovel to keemstar for the cotton candy flavor he has a total meltdown watch this everybody agrees with me right ninja's still my flavor <laughs> he's a rap for that <laughs> but to the few yep, people that are thinking definitely I'm everyone petty, agrees. i get it uh, right you're, you're... now just to remind you this his g partnership with g fuel ended like three years ago yes and so ninja gets his flavor three years ago and this motherfucker, after three years, is now like, this is my flavor. You should have kissed the ring. I mean, it's nuts. Everybody agrees with me. Two years. Right. Ninja's still my flavor. He's a rat for that. But to the few people that are thinking I'm being petty, I get it. Right. You're, you're right to look at this on a surface level and be like, Keemstar is just being petty. I get it. You're right. But you don't have the context, all right? I've been friends with this dude since 2017. Every time he's in drama, every time the internet is mean to him, and over the top, not being fair to him, I stick up for the fucking dude. Uh I love when Keemstar admits to shit like that. Which is what I've always said about him, which is why I've always thought he's a piece of shit. Is because if he doesn't like you, he'll lie, he'll slander, he'll try to ruin your life. I mean, really make your life hell. And if he's friends with you, he won't report anything bad that's going on. And like, he's news. I mean, it's just... it's. It's just disgusting behavior, and it's, he's always been like that. Uh, he's been on my podcast. So he's like, I, I, def I didn't report when, when bad things happened to you, and you fucking owe me. I'm still not even sure why he's mad. It's been two years, bro. Two years. Well, let's hear him out, because apparently everyone agrees with him. Everyone. So he might have a good point here. All right, I'll stop pausing. Yeah. As I, you know, me and bought him this like, huge <laughs> I don't know. I've been tight with Ninja forever. The fact that, you know, he goes to G Fuel and says, I want cotton candy because, like, look, look, the manager, his wife and him are looking at this and they're like, okay, what flavor should we do? What makes business sense? And because my fans have been asking for my flavor to return cotton candy forever, they're like, okay, let's just take Keem's. Now, wait, if did they discontinue cotton candy, love? Once he got. Yeah, when he got. Uh... Oh, they stopped yep. selling the flavor. Yeah, that's why this is very, very rare right here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so there's been a cotton candy shortage. Yes. So oh, they yeah. brought it back with Ninja, basically. Mm -hmm. That's going to go gangbusters. They didn't bring back the full version. The variation. 
Oh, so it's not even the, exactly the same flavor? Right, look. They brought back the cans, uh, not the actual powder. Which they're selling in Walmart. Yeah, yeah I gotta say, Walmart. I, I've never wanted a drink more in my life. <laughs> and <laughs> I called like five Walmarts yesterday. He's not goofing, he really No, is. No one could help me. Ninja, we're all in the Blevins Brotherhood here. <laughs> like, this has to be more accessible. Yeah. Was it sold it? out or did they not get it yet? None of them had it. Yeah. He, he was, he it was working those phones. We gotta too. roll those right. out, man. Yeah. This could be a huge partnership. Ninja X G Fuel Cotton Candy right. in every Walmart. I, we could be sipping them right now. Yeah. And it's a shame we're not. It's a fucking travesty. You know, it's a real travesty that we didn't reach out to G Fuel and get the cotton candy flavor. Now that. Well, to be honest, right after Keem me. got dropped, I did reach out to G Fuel for a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny is they were, oh they've God. been hitting me up basically my whole time on YouTube. Uh huh. And I just thought it was so weird to partner with G Fuel. Like I was like, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, maybe I, sh I probably should have. Uh, They're popular. Talk to them, but I w always thought it was just kind of odd. And I don't really drink that stuff, so I don't know. Klein kiwi flavor. Ooh, Ooh kiwi Klein. Klein. Kiwi Klein. That's pretty good. Yeah, but after this happened, I was like, Yo, let's partner up now. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe, maybe not yet. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe we should reach out again. It's been a while. Get that Klein Kiwi going. That'd be so awesome, dude. Just, we could probably still get the, the powder version. Channels. Oh, right. They're... What, AB? I said you just fed the drama channels. I'm curious of the thumbnails. Wait, what did I say? By saying that you reached out to G Fuel after Keemstar. You think so? Oh, we talked about sure. Trisha. Who cares about G Fuel? Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. <Keemstar's laughs> they already have their, their yeah, highlights. I mean, yeah. Nobody pays attention. Look, I'm, I'm excited to try this Klein Kiwi. I think it'll be good. Wait, how did I contact them before? Hold on, let me write an email. We gotta get, we gotta get on this deal. <laughs> Are we dead set on kiwi? No, no I just, no, I was no, just coming just, up with names. Ah, yeah. I see. Strawberry kiwi. Why you got a different idea? Uh, key lime. I'm thinking key about it. Klein pie. H key Klein pie. Flavor. Tea flavor. G fuel. Interesting. Here, I think she I was asking, is G Fuel even good? It depends on how you ask. If you ask Love, he'll say absolutely. Love, like, like loves that he shit. only lives on G Fuel. I tried it when he was out here. He he hooked us up with some, and um, it was one of the sweetest drinks I've ever tasted <laughs> in my life. It was, it was no really sugar. sweet. It was very fucking sweet. It's gamer Fuel, bro. You don't Love got me name. hooked. I was. Uh, it's a little too sweet for me, but I understand why uh, people like is it. Is there no sugar in it, Love? Yeah, no sugar. <gasps> Ethan Raspberry, somebody suggested. <gasps> I like that. Ethan Raspberry. I'm Ethan Raspberry. Love was my <laughs> G Fuel sommelier when we were living together. <laughs> he, he showed me the perfect amount of uh, right. ice cube to put in it. Yeah, yeah. The right amount to mix. He was the best. You think Martin knows yep. shit? Love about G Fuel? Yeah. He is uh -oh. the man. Oh. What is He's that, Love? sommelier. Yeah. Uh -oh. Phase up. Oh. <laughs> Phase up. Ethan Klein Klein Pesto. Oh no. Alright, I just wrote an email that we're very we're very passionate about G Fuel and want to get it going. We could sell a lot of G Fuel. Yeah. I'll move G Fuel like they never fucking seen. <laughs> Would you want to be, be in a, so a Walmart with it like Nina or like just an online exclusive? I'm direct to consumer. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever did you ever see Keemstar's G Fuel commercial? Oh yeah, yeah where we, he made went, a, we made a parody. He went to the <laughs> carnival and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did a funny edit of it back in the day. Yeah. One of my greatest songs, I feel. Keemstar oh, yeah. Nibble on Your Cheese. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. Right, right. Only recently surpassed by Holding My Farting. <laughs> Holding my farting. I love that. That that was a bop. I, I was couldn't stop singing it all <laughs> afternoon. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, play that as we watch Game of Stars G Fuel. Yeah. yeah. Holding my fart in. <laughs> I can't rip my jeans today. Uh, Ninja should take this and just put his face over uh, Game Stars. The whole video. Holding my fart in. <laughs> Keemstar would go to a carnival by himself. I know, this is so sad. Yeah, this is some sad ass shit, bro. <laughs> you don't have one damn friend. Yeah. It works so good. Uh, good. Let's get it. What cam? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Sorry. No. <laughs> that I say, every time I talk, I, I have to rip my earbuds out because there's a little delay. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and it it fucks with my speech. Were you gonna say something though? It, the song just works so good. Oh yeah, it does. It does. If you go to carnivals by yourself, shrink. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> he was daydreaming the whole thing. I guess that's the concept. But it wasn't that. You don't need to daydream going on carnival rides. I mean, he was already it. there. It's not like Would've a dream. Yeah, you're literally there. Just yeah. go. Just go do the things that you're fantasizing about. Yeah, it was a huge loss for Kim. The cotton candy thing was big. Here, he'll continue. If Ninja would have came to me and said, Kim, can I bring cotton candy back? I'd be. Bro, it's been two fucking years. It doesn't fucking belong to you. It, it, yeah, it's G Fuel's flavor, dumbass. You didn't <laughs> make it, you <laughs> stupid ass. This is so weird. To even put this video out is so unhinged. Like, yes, you have my blessing. You're my homie. Go ahead. Rock it. Rock it. Like, the, he would have the full blessings, but that's... He doesn't need to kiss your ring. What don't you understand? Golly, man. Like he wouldn't, why would he even think to ask that? Totally. After two years? Yeah. Or even, even not. It's like... I mean, I don't, need the, I don't know the logistics of how it even happened. They were probably like, yo, do you want... Here's options of flavors, like what Love said. And he's like cotton candy. <laughs> what do we think? Well, doesn't he say at the end of the video that Jessica reached out? Let's let's keep watching. That's not what happened, okay? Ninja didn't say shit to me. His wife contacts me and says, "Hey, we just want to let you know that uh, we're we're yeah. launching a, a cotton candy can." All right. That was actually really thoughtful, I think, that they gave him a heads up. Yeah, and it's not just yeah, his wife, he, it's his manager, right? Right. She, she's... He's offended Ninja himself didn't. Yeah, oh, Ninja's wife? Yeah. She's a woman. You send right? your little messenger. <laughs> That's awesome. Didn't say shit to me. His wife contacts me and says, hey, we just want to let you know that uh, we're, we're launching a, a cotton candy can. So they did let you know. Like, what the fuck yeah. do you want? They literally told you ahead of time, <laughs> which was way more than you deserved. All right. Yeah, they gave him a heads she up, but didn't ask permission again to sell a product that he does not own. Two years after he got <laughs> two dropped. Two years what, after he got dropped. What is he, the fucking Don or something? Yeah. Like, he thinks, he really thinks he is. She didn't fucking ask for my blessing. She didn't ask for shit. You come to me on the day that I lost my final hair. <laughs> And you, you, you don't ask for my permission to sell the cotton candy? I sit here bald before you with the bandana tightly fastened on my head. I'm losing the oxygen to my brain from the bandana tied so, so tightly. And you have the balls to send a woman to your, tell me. You send your brother's wife to me? You send, you, <laughs> you send your braless wife, and when she came, she was wearing a bra. <laughs> if you're gonna send your wife to me, make sure she's not wearing a bra, <laughs> and make sure she bring a sandwich too. Show me some respect. I, I shouldn't have to ask for the sandwich. It should be unasked for. You broke my heart, <laughs> Ninja. You break my heart. The cotton candy flavor. It's my flavor. <laughs> I know it was you, Fredo. And how dare you send a woman? Be man enough to tell me yourself. I, Keemstar, I'm taking the cotton candy flavor. Just like I took the Teddy Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> and I sit here before you, and you've got this long, beautiful blue hair. I have not even a single hair on my head, Ninja. And you disrespect me. <laughs> so. Bob! 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 <laughs> what was that? that was what was that? that was it was bald, bald. bald, bald. They were yeah. chanting bald, bald. <laughs> What's that from? SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Play it again? Bob! 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 Jesus. That's interesting. Did you pull that just for that image? Uh, I, I forgot what else we were talking about, but uh, I don't know. I felt like it could be funny. Yeah, yeah. 
just thing. Yeah, so anyway. She just fucking told me that they're doing it, right? This is like weeks before it was announced. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna fucking say something. That that's not fucking cool. I'm gonna fucking say something. So I'm like, you know what? I let it I I, I calm down for a little bit. I talked to many other fucking creators about the situation. Yo, I was so heated up. I had to calm down, talk to a bunch of creators. I was gonna have a total bitch fit. I was on a podcast with twelve views asking all those creators. <laughs> they all agreed with me as usual. Everyone agrees with me. Literally everyone oh. I talked to. Who they owe, everyone who owes their whole career to me agreed. <laughs> You're in trouble. That G Fuel shit. <laughs> that, was, that was good. I sounded just like him. Everybody agrees he's a rat for it. And I'm like, you know what? Let <laughs> me talk to Ninja himself. So I call this dude multiple times, no answer. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ghosted by Ninja. <laughs> you know what's the truth, Team Star? That I. <laughs> I called him, man. He's not answering. Nobody takes my calls. It's so weird. <laughs> you know what's the, the the uncomfortable truth, Keemstar, is that that I think you're you're afraid to confront the truth that you really lost all your clout. I think he is fangless and toothless, and not many people watch Drama Alert anymore. And I don't think Ninja has the time to or the interest. Uh, to answer a call from Keemstar, I mean, there's literally no incentive for him to well, pick up Well, probably after his wife got bitched out by Keem. Yeah. While trying to do yeah. something that they totally didn't need to do, politely inform him, like he said, weeks before it was announced, that, hey, this thing is happening. Yeah. What, it, why it am I... not owe you anything. No. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, people, I'm sorry, Keemstar, but I don't, I think the days of people answering your calls is, is gone. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like I, I, I'm so I just I don't know. It's like Nina is like Vito Corleone, or Jessica's like Vito. Keem's more like a Fredo type. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he totally is. We gotta take him back on the on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Fredo, and you know, you just I don't know. Nina's. He's the Don. Hey, be careful movie. with the Fredo, though. That is Italia-phobia. Oh, I, I did not mean uh, it that That's way. an offensive phrase. Forgive me. I did not mean it like yeah, that. Yeah. Roll that that's back. That's a slur. <laughs> Roll that back. Rolling it back. Did, did not mean it in any way. I was just comparing to the movie. Yeah. That's all I was making. And thank you for that. I'm sure everyone will appreciate that. That kind of just made me sad after rewatching that. I think Keem just needs, like, a Goodwill hunting, like, it's not your fault type hug. <laughs> it might. It needs a hug. Yeah. I actually agree. I, 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 in, in all honesty... Yeah. It's not your fault. His upbringing sounds like it was really difficult and... Yeah. Um, it's Keemstar's fault! No, it's not Keemstar's it's it's not not, fault. It's not your fault, not your fault. <laughs> It's not your fault. <laughs> it's Keemstar's fault! It's, it's not, not your, your fault. fault. It's not your fault, Keemstar. It's not your fault. No, you're not listening, Keemstar. It's not your fault. Keemstar's fault! It's no, not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> No, but on the real, though, I, I feel like he really could benefit from therapy. I don't think he would ever pursue it. Well, we know not. He's stated his opinions no, on that very publicly. Yeah. Three sips of beer. That's all you need. But, he, you know, I, uh, I, feel, I do feel bad, you know. And kudos to him for bringing his or giving his girlfriend the childhood upbringing he never got to, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true, you know? And it he, benefits both of them because now they get to... Uh, he has someone with him at the amusement park, so he's not alone anymore. <laughs> Say that, A.B.? I said it benefits both of them, too, because he's not alone at the amusement park Right, anymore. right, right, right. They have that. Yeah, that's a really good point you make, Cameron, you know? He's paying it forward. <laughs> yeah. It's not your fault. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Cam really got me with that one. It's not your fault, Kim. I really, I actually do, I really do think so. Fault. It's not, bro. It's not. It's not your fault. It's not, bro. It's really not. All this shit here. I love that scene, by the way. Goodwill and Think's such a great movie. Oh, One great. of the best. He goes, all this shit here, Will, I want you to know something. It's not, not your, your fault. fault. He goes, I know. I know. No. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> Go ahead. Sam. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. It's not, not your you fault. Too. No, but go ahead with the the Keemstar one. Keemstar's yeah. fault! No, 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 no. You're not listening. 
Uh, it actually is too real. It's too real. It's too on the nose. Yeah. Like, Game Star's fault. That's such a great sound bite. Holy fuck. It's not your fault. All right, let's. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck that blue-haired freak. I'm done. Whoa. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking wife on everything. Why is he? I, he again, he goes after the his fuck? his wife. Greedy little wife. What did she do? It's not like he said. It's not like he said greedy. He, he said, said greedy, greedy said little wife. Let me play again. Blue-haired freak. I'm done. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking. What did he say? <laughs> it's not greedy. Hey, yeah, I don't what know what word say? that is. Crazy? Did he say crazy? Cra crazy? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Crazy? Let's 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 listen carefully. I'm done. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking. Grady? Is it just? It uh, sounds like Grady. What is Grady? It's not. It's Grady, right? Like it's Grady. He definitely said Grady, but maybe he meant to say Grady and just got tongue tied. Is he saying? Is, is it like grade grade E? Grade E. Grade E. Yeah. Like, there, uh, on like a tier a chart, a low rating. Yeah. Look, to be the, to be, <laughs> there are examples of him mispronouncing words. Right, I'm right on drama alert. Drama alert. Drama alert. Homophobic. Ho homophobic. Like a Romeo. <laughs> Wait, so I'm seeing, I'm trying to look in the chat. People are saying Grady, but that that's not a word, is it? Grady. Everyone's saying Grady. I think he meant to say Greedy. That's the only thing that makes sense. Gravy? Was he trying to combine crazy and greedy in a way? Maybe Grody. Grody. Doing some like. Valley Girl slang. From it seems like nobody ago. in the chat knows what he said too, so it's not just us. Terrorist. I'm done. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his grady little fucking. Grade E? Could he have said that? Grade E? It was, uh, would you say that? Oddly enough, I think he just misspoke. But if he did say something else, I think it would be grade E. What the fuck? Because like he's yeah, he's rated. Girls She's not even pretty, though. dude. Yeah, Pokemon's a terrorist. Pokemon, sorry, is it two out of ten according to him? That would be Pokemon. crazy if he said grade E, but I feel like. There's a there's that's unlikely. He yeah. rates on a on a numerical chart though, not a uh, true uh, alphabet true. Uh, scale. So right. that would be inconsistent. I think with his I think the grades. Mm, the best theory I'm seeing is great crazy plus greedy. He got confused and combined them. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, though. maybe. And he just let it go. Freak, I'm done. I hate him. I unfollowed him and unfollowed his greedy little fucking wife on everything. <laughs> When next time you guys are in trouble, don't ask for my help. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> Fuck off. It was so disrespectful to do it the way you did it. Yeah. B a a AKA, now when I report the news, I'm going to do everything in my life to just everything in my power to destroy your life. Number one news source on the internet. Yes. Number one trusted news in the world. We got your back, Nino. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just looking at his Twitter. Joe Biden is the worst president I've lived through. I mean, that's a bit facts. That's a bit hyperbolic. Sixty six percent agree. Everyone agrees. Well, how many has he lived through? Well, his uh, audience has only lived through Biden, so well he's lived through at right. least like uh fifteen, right? Uh he would have been born during the Reagan era. Um so you know, you got Reagan, Bush, uh Clinton, second Bush, Obama, Trump. Well, what is he like fifty? Sixty. No, he's, 60. he's 40. 45, right? So there you go. I, I, I put it at the back of the show because, you know, whatever. But that there you have it. A little bit of a fun uh, Keemstar update for you guys. Very good, very good. And that's about it, isn't it? That's about it. We've been going 310 here. Look at them go. Let me see yeah. Love again. Yeah. Let's go. You're a little delayed, Love. you got to speed it yeah, up. Speed it up, speed it up. Faster, faster. There it is. It's like double. Oh, there it is. There it is. You're locked in. Yes. Nice. Nicely done. Yes. We love it. Yes. 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 Oh. Oh. Are you tired, love? <laughs> this oh, my God. God. Love. I look like the love was making oh, that noise. Uh, love, can you yawn again? It's hard. Huh? Yeah. Can you yawn like that again? Okay, give me a second. Oh. That might be Ozzy. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a fun episode, eh? Yeah, it was a good one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you to all the 
people have donated and are, are gifted members, yeah. subscribed. We love you all. Thank you to Mikey, our new uh, political correspondent. Yes. <laughs> And thank you again about the Howie thing. Thank you guys for all the really nice comments on that. That was that was awesome. Super nice. Yeah. Very heartwarming. I really was. And I really appreciated it. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow morning for leftovers, and then on to our usual Friday after dark. So have a good week, guys. We'll see you, or have a good evening, and we'll see you in the morning. Thanks, guys. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,